Yeah, right. Like Shorty was too just shit. Uh, uh, uh. Money F- is worth it. Pfizer's coursing through my veins. She's transforming. She's changing, <laughs> becoming stronger. Faster. More intelligent. More brutal. The six billion dollar leg shaker. <laughs> Ready PG thirteen. Yeah, it definitely would be rated PG-13. When when did the Billion Dollar Man come out in the 70s? That shit might be rated PG. She rated Y7. <laughs> did they even have ratings back then? I don't think they did. Nah, back then it was just like, man, show up. Yeah, yeah. On TV. Actually, that's interesting to think about. Like, back in the day, them niggas was just pulling up. They were just, oh, oh, this is, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Babe, we got to take the kids out of here. They, they wilding. I said, what you mean? I just, oh. That's why it's called a time to die. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. It wasn't no rings. Niggas was just vibing. That's probably the worst. Like, you was, like, some shit sounds sweet. Like, you just, oh, okay. The Shining. Oh, that's sweet. It sounds it's about a shiny object or something, huh? Yeah. Shiny. Not quite. Ladies. Think about how old The Shining is. It came out in the 70s. That's it did, crazy. right? Yeah. It's crazy because it still holds up because it's a very good movie. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Really good movies, huh? Like The Thing, the best movie ever created on Earth. The Thing, that's the one about uh, the rock nigga from Fantastic Four? No? No, you're thinking about the Fantastic Four. Hmm. I'm sure he ain't have a solo movie. No. They should do a solo movie with just that nigga because, like, quite frankly, like, come on. Come why on, would I? Why? why would I care about any of these other niggas? A nigga that stretch a lot. Boo. The Rock nigga is arguably the most boring nigga on the Fantastic Four. I guess. What is this nigga? A sentient pile of pebbles? Oh, okay. And you just what? Rubber band man? Fuck out of here, hey, nigga. Ti did it first, nigga. I don't want to hear it. Look, it's more than the stretching. He's smart. Okay. Oh, he's so. He, what? He went to Harvard and learned how to stretch. Man, get the fuck on. <laughs> More like he started a Harvard for mutant children or something. Oh, nigga think he Professor X. We get it. I think he's smart than Professor X. He not smarter than me, though. So, And he not smart enough to know that squared is P. Wait, so it really five don't matter. 23? What's 5 times 23, you said? I said quick. You asked oh, uh, 115. I had to make sure you was saying what you were saying. It's 115. 22 times 73. 22, ooh, now that's a tough one. 22 <laughs> times 73 is, well, let me think. I can do this, though. 1,500, what's 73 two times? 1,546? 1,546. Look. Probably. This nigga said probably. Why wouldn't you, man? What, I'm just supposed to have my calculator out and make sure you're right? <laughs> I don't care about you being right. He you said, I don't, I don't care how he said, I don't care how smart you are. I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was strictly to prove that you couldn't do it. You did it, so I don't care. <laughs> it's the Ray J shit with the glasses, bro. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, non-binary human beings, welcome. What if they don't identify as a human being? I can't fucking help you. What the hell? Remember back in the day, people used to regularly like identify as dumb shit like dragons or mermaids. I'm glad we're past that point in history. I always, I felt like, oh, I know what you don't like the other kin the shit. Other kin, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I remember that. You yeah, know, I, I think that. that's probably still around. That's definitely. It's just like we know better than to take them with any level of seriousness now. So it's just kind of like they know, like I, they I just, no, I mean. But before they was emboldened, everybody. right? They felt like yeah. they could speak on it. Now they know better, so it's like they just keep it quiet. Uh, it was so like, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling real chats, but they not, they not out there talking about it. Like I said, I'm feeling very liking today, man. I can't, I can't even hold you, man. Feeling real, uh, feeling what? What's that? Lycanthropic, lycanthropic. <laughs> you know, I went on a soul searching journey, and I found out in the 17th century, I was actually a lesbian vampire. So my soul is just reincarnated, so I identify as a vampire. I'm like, so you still human? Like, are vampires human? Is that not a thing? How does this I work? So. I, I thought think. vampires was. Yeah, that they still, like, got the vampire. Virus. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't care if you identify as a lesbian vampire. Bitch, you still human. 
No, you must address me as a vampire. Remember when niggas was... Ad- I don't know, this might be too niche, but remember when niggas was identifying specifically as Shrek? As Shrek? No, I do not. <laughs> niggas were doing That's pretty whole, fucking like, hilarious, uh, though. What do they call it? Role playing? Niggas were role playing in the swamp. No, I no, I do remember seeing some very strange role plays on Tumblr. That actually was mad funny. That was one of the funniest things. Do you remember the Obama role play? Do you remember that shit? I Yo, do not. There was an Obama role play, right? When I tell you some of the hardest quotes of all time came out of this Obama role play, bro, like it was the silliest shit I've ever seen. Like it was, it was, what was it? It was like some woman had a dream. I, I'm not even gonna bring it up because I can't remember. Oh, it that's not that was a role play. I know exactly what you're talking about. Somebody had a dream, and in the dream, Obama said the rawest shit that has ever. Oh been yeah, 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 yeah. No, the Obama role play. play. Yeah, and yeah. Nothing was coming up okay. for it. The Obama role play was the then perish. That was the Obama That's, role play. Okay, I have seen yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still yeah, have yeah. that picture of my phone with the That eyes. one is hilarious. Then perish. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is so funny. I remember one role play. It was like, uh, somebody posted a picture of like World of Warcraft orcs pointing <laughs> at a map and yelling. And, <laughs> and then they just said, open post, put what you want. And the very next thing somebody said was, who drew a dick on my map? <laughs> Niggas is just silly. Nah, that that was honestly like the best part of Tumblr was just the interact. Like you can't get that. No, like I mean, arguably you can get it on Twitter, but like people just it's just the attitudes of people. Like people on Tumblr were like they they thrived off of that shit. So like if you just post a silly picture and just say, "All right, y'all, go ahead," niggas would literally go forever. Like whereas you do it on Twitter, like somebody would just get a couple of jokes off and try to get their followers up but like it's like you know what i mean no one wants to look like a a, a weirdo or like what is that yeah i'm arguably right? one of the only niggas that still just be posting random shit on twitter because you know care. i was i was thinking about that shit today where i was just like i mean and part of it is probably because i was 20 when i was on tumblr like you know what i mean like i was a kid damn near still but like i realized and i recently just started changing it but i was just like bro i just be like i be do I be caring about what niggas think on Twitter? Like, like I be thinking about, like, damn, sometimes I really think I be caring. Like, and then it really made me realize, like, nah, these niggas are dumb. Don't ever yeah. care about what these niggas think, bro. Just move. Move how you move. Yeah, exactly. That's and the niggas I mean. that rock with it gonna rock with it. And the niggas that don't, who gives a shit? Because they're weird anyway. We all weird to somebody, so. Yeah. I mean, and that was the thing, because... Especially like on, on Twitter, where like there was the point where I was just, I felt like, I just felt like I was trying to be too cool, right? Where I was just like, ooh, okay, I'm gonna just, nah, 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 that's not the right way to say that. Like I was thinking too hard about it. And I'm just like, bro, nah, 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 that's not how this works. Just get, just, just fire that shit off. You just yeah, gotta fire it off. Earlier today, I was talking about Diane Greer cutting me in half. And I, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. Wait, that was today, nigga? You did it again? I do it a lot. Yeah, I was really about to say, because I remember you posting, what was that, from Chainsaw Man? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I wonder how I identified it. <laughs> I was like, I've never heard of this show. I just see a nigga with a chainsaw getting smoked. So I, I have to assume this is true. He was getting his heart ripped out, or is it the one where he was on the ground, like, and she was pouring blood on him? It was the ground. Well, it was both of them. I saw both of those, but... <laughs> The one um, when he was on the ground, I was like, I have reoccurring dreams where me and Diane Guerrero, we do this. <laughs> and the other one was just, I think he got his heart ripped out, and I was just like, I just want her to do this to me. I'm like, so do, do the nigga die like every time? Like, what? what? No. Like, don't, don't give me a full synopsis because I don't care that much, but like, how he keep getting smoked and just keep getting smoked? In that world, these devils are based off of primal human fears. And basically, any injury they get, if they drink blood, they'll heal from it. So the nigga can get his heart ripped out and be fine. Well, that was a different situation. That where he got his heart ripped out, that was a fake body. But the other shit where he was on the ground and paled, she was literally pouring blood into his mouth to heal him because she wanted to keep on fighting. Oh, okay. That's right. good. You should... uh. I'm not gonna say read it because you don't read manga, but when the anime comes out, you should watch yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, bro, I cannot even read. So I mean, just look I, at the pictures. I, I made it pictures. all the way through college without reading. 
That's an accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, nah, honestly, I feel like if you did that, I'm like, damn, bro, don't ever learn how to read. Like, you, you might be smarter this way. You yeah. might be smarter this way. Like, yeah, no, no, no. Don't learn you what words mean, bro. Because if you get on Twitter and you learn what words mean, they're going to make you do it. They're going to make you dumb. They're going to make you stupid, I promise you. Every day, Twitter makes me dumber and dumber from the shit that I read. Um. All right, so let's uh let, let's let's, get let's, let's address some yeah let's get this shit let's address something on here where do we want to start where do we want to start um uh speaking of getting brain damage from Twitter <laughs> Wiggins comments on the vaccine yeah yeah so we can start with uh the Wiggins so he to me um there was a video it was like a two minute video recently after he got the vaccine so he previously refused it. I was like, nah, I ain't finna get that shit. It's my business. It's not y'all business. Da, da, da. Then he gets the vaccine because, of course, he would. Like, come on, bro. Just get the vaccine and go play ball. It's not that deep. Like, um, so he gets it. And he makes a bunch of comments. And I'm not going to hold you. Um, People were talking about specific things that he said throughout this entire video. And I didn't watch all two minutes of it because I'm never going to stand here for two minutes and listen to any of these niggas talk about this shit. But what I did notice in, like, maybe the 30 seconds that I was listening was he said something interesting that I think it's lost in this conversation a lot. And unfortunately, if that was all he said, I probably would have defended him. But well, it's not so, all uh, he said. He had an adverse reaction. Right, to right, before. right, right. So and then he it's when he continued to follow mm-hmm, it up, that's mm-hmm, where I mm-hmm. it was like, okay, either this nigga is a fucking idiot or he's just lying. Yeah, right. And and so to me, I was just thinking to myself, like I think people have to understand that regardless of how safe these vaccines truly are, there are plenty of people who are still going to have adverse reactions to it. Like, that's yeah, a no fact of it. Even if it's 99.7% accurate, there's yeah. still going to be people. I, think about it. Like, some of the ones we're seeing uh, said, like, 94, this and that. So, if, if we're talking 99% are effective, right? The 1% doesn't necessarily mean it's, like, the opposite of effective, like, harmful. But let's just say 1%. If you're vaccinating, say, 6 billion people... Nigga, 1% of that is over, a, you know what I mean? It's millions. So yeah. I I think what we are missing is that there are genuinely certain people here who do have certain issues here. And in that case, right, again, I'm, I'm talking before he said any other the foolish shit he did, right? I was listening to it, and I was like. You got a pass, and he just stopped there. I had an adversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before. yeah. So now I'm hesitant to take it. You right, because it that it alone, when I heard that, and I was like, oh, wow, okay, well, this. Well, it all fucking adds up. It makes perfect sense. And I can't even be mad at a guy like who, you know, like imagine you had a headache and everybody's, oh, just take a Tylenol, take an Advil. Huh? Fuck it. You take an Advil, that shit almost kill you. You know what I'm saying? And then and then later down the road, you get a, you know, six years from now, a pandemic breaks out and they're like, all right, bro, we got this little do 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 bye bye. And you're like, Shh, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Like, that's entirely understandable. But the, then the problem is that's personal. That's you. Your body did that. I'm sure you could also name 99 other niggas who took that same Advil and ain't nothing happened to them. Exactly. So that then becomes the issue because when you then take your experience and knowing your experience is like the 1% and then trying to pretend like, you know, it's like it's happening more than people think. Like, okay, let's say it's 2%. That's still 2%. Like you're trying to compare 2 and 98 as if they're the same number, right? Like it's the reason that... I don't take anything that, you know, people say about adverse reactions. Obviously, there's adverse reactions. There's adverse reactions with every vaccine. Yeah, to to, to any medical. Yeah, to any medical. Why are you only bringing it up for the COVID vaccine? Yeah, yeah. And that's the other thing. has plenty of adverse reactions. Right, right. And that's the other thing. Because that's the part I was considering. Because I remember my last job. Again, this is before pandemic or the pandemic even arose. I learned about um the what is it the uh it's the national vaccine something like they have a whole court strictly for niggas with vaccine cases which I mean shit yeah, sounds they went to normal court it would be so many cases niggas... right, right right exactly and so it's which so basically they have this court right and they handle these cases and like you said before the pandemic happened they were handling cases for all different types of vaccines whether it be hepatitis uh the Tdap or tetanus or MMRs or any of that stuff. And so my whole thing is these people always existed. There's always been issues, but that's the problem. If it's still 1%, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, there is no hundred. There just genuinely isn't 100. That's it not a real option. Everybody's body is yeah, it can, it's, there's millions, hundreds of millions of us. And some of us live in terrible conditions that are going to like 
alter what this is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, bro, there's so many different caveats. And I think that's the part where people fail to realize science is evolving, my nigga. It's not, it's not static. So, like, when you hear something one day and then two months later, they're telling you something different. See, I knew they was lying. Nigga, it, it evolves. It's just an advancement. Our understanding of this shit is evolving. I don't under, like, what what's not clicking? So, do you understand how we have smartphones now and back in the late 80s, early 90s, they had those giant block phones that caused cancer? Yeah, or, or even, investors. you know how the smartphones of three years ago don't compare don't to the compare smartphones to today? Exactly. Like, yeah, like, bro, it's like... So I think that's the part where people, but again, a lot of it is just confirmation bias. I have a way, I feel a certain way, and I'm only going to hear shit that agrees with that. And so for me, that's why I'm just like, listen, I'm at the point now where I don't even want to hear y'all, honestly. Either way, I don't want to hear, just just play, just do what you do. I'm, I'm sick of it. You guys don't want to be role models. You guys don't want, but when it's some black shit, y'all want to stand up, which is funny because this is a black issue, but no one wants to address that part, right? Because who's the least likely group to get it? Conservatives and niggas. Hmm? What really pisses me off about this shit is not just the anti-vaxxers, but the conspiracy theory niggas that say, oh, the government, they're trying to control you, there's microchips in it. If, like, oh, or yeah. saying that there's something yeah. wrong with the vaccine and people are going to die from it. If there's something wrong with the vaccine and you're so worried about the adverse effects, then why are African countries the least vaccinated? It's because mm. the richer countries are more mm. the vaccine for their them. people. Yeah, and again, not giving it to this the is poor countries. When we, right there. when we talk about conspiracy theories, that's all I ever ask for. It has to add up. You can't make me believe there's a global conspiracy where niggas are going to throw away money or throw away these things that they work so hard to get for something that we just can't comprehend. It's just above our pay grade of thinking. Like, bruh, stop it. No one in, listen, I, I need people to realize. There are not that many smart people in the world. There just simply aren't. And not that many of them are that damn rich. Those rich ultra billionaires and ultra powerful niggas, they're not smarter than you. They were born into certain shit and then stepped on niggas, stepped on niggas' backs, you know, cut cutthroat, right? Like, so my whole point is you don't have to be a genius to make 30 billion or make a hundred billion to make trillions. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be a genius to be a puppet master because puppets are notoriously easy to control. Like, bro, that's the part that kills me where it's like, y'all be thinking like these niggas are now nah, they playing four dimensional chess. See, we only think about the money and resources. They got a bigger and deeper goal. And I'm like, bro, explain to me how you gain money by not giving the vaccine to African countries. How do you gain money by not letting? Now, again, when exactly. you saw them, when you saw them fighting against patents, that should have told you something. Right. The shit work. You know it worked. You know how it worked? Because they won't let you make your own version of it. You got to come get mine. So, like, bro, between that, you get the rich folks coming in. The, it's, it's like, bro, it's too many things that show me that this shit works. My whole point is, listen, if you want to argue the control shit, you're 100% right, but you're right for the wrong reasons. You're right for the wrong reasons. Because you think, oh, they released this for control. No, 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 my nigga. They're going to use this for control. I don't, listen, I don't know how it got released. I, I did see something. Where they were mentioning that in 2018, China and um, the U.S. were working together to try to uh, plot. Uh, I, I, I'm not, you know, smart enough, right, to to read the headline, but it was like basically they were trying to create coronavirus in the lab and basically like kind of like make a, a, a what was it? Dare what's I the, say a, a vaccine? What's the word? Not a vaccine, but like the actual virus itself. Uh, what's the word for when something travels from animal to human? It's like zoo, zoonotic uh, or some shit. Uh, it's like a, it's like a something transmission. Yeah, something it's it's like about. zoo something, but it's animal to human. Yeah. And so basically they were saying because of that thing, that kind of explains why there's no mirror of Corona in the wild. Because I think the closest one was like 95%, yeah. which basically they were saying if this was developed on its own and da, 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 90, it would have been way closer than 95%. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. That's that. I mean, look, it's entirely possible. I did see someone say, um, and again, this is a conspiracy theory that may have some legs. Uh, but I did see a guy say, basically saying like the whole point of these things is you, you make them, you figure out what works, you figure out what doesn't. And you release them almost like it's like a war, right? Like think about it. Remember how wars work, right? You start a war right before the election. So that way they didn't want to. Well, we can't let the next guy handle the war. It might as well be you. 
mm-hmm. right? Like, so basically people are saying, well, same thing with a pandemic. Now, obviously, if you can get it a little less lethal, that's probably better. That's more optimal. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's also a scenario where, think about it, if it's less lethal, then maybe nothing happens. Maybe nothing even changes. Maybe we don't even give a shit, right? Because think about it. We've 700,000 people have died and we don't give a shit. So, like, if it's less lethal and say only 200,000, oh, brother, what would that have looked like? We would have never locked down in the first place. You would have never been able to get your control, right? So, when I heard that conspiracy theory, I was like, okay, okay, now now we're working with something. These start to make sense. But when y'all talk about this microchip shit, it's just like, bro, can you try? Put yourself in the shoes of an evil global power. Does that make sense? Tell me, does does it? That even cost to fucking. Thank you, bro. There is a shortage of semiconductors. I'm assuming a microchip probably has some super advanced technology that you might not have. Like, bro, there have been supply chain disruptions. Stop it. Stop. You're smoking crack. Stop. It's just not realistic, dog. We kind of got like way up. Not no, I mean, we, we addressed the uh, weird stuff. But no, I wanted to go deeper. What made his comments so dumb? Because that's what pissed me off. So he said he had an adverse reaction to a vaccine in the past. Cool. And then he said it requires me to carry an EpiPen. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now we're getting a little, con- just, we're getting into some dangerous mm-hmm. territory now. And then he said, so I only put natural, natural stuff. Yeah. My body. What the fuck is yeah. an EpiPen? I know. I know. I, I do feel like folks purposely misunderstood that one though. Like, I know like, I got what he meant. I'm yeah, still, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's because that. he said everything though. That's why. That's why. Like, that's why. Like, because when he said that part, and I was like, bro, y'all keep hinging on this epipen shit. Y'all know what the fuck he's saying. Like, you know what I mean? But again, because you said all the other shit after that, yeah, yeah, they not even gonna give you the pass, right? They looking at you like you, you don't put nothing natural that. on your body, really? Because, but uh, I'm like, bro, there, you know how many people say they all natural and they drink. Liquor, <laughs> like smoke you know what I'm weed. saying. Drink, yeah, smoke weed. Like, bro, none of like, yes, no one can claim with a hundred percent. I'm all natural because none of the shit's all natural. Even the shit you think is all natural. But um, yeah, go ahead. Plus, you know how much medicine and shots professional athletes get from their oh their, yeah, I mean, yeah 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 injuries and shit yeah yeah yeah. How, how much stuff is floating around in their body? <laughs> and mm-hmm. Natural, like oh, come yeah. on. Yeah. And plus, the thing that always the thing that's bothered me the most about this, um, and I saw um, with uh, and we'll we'll probably talk about it, I guess, after this, but with the malaria vaccine. But now you get all these people who are just critical of any vaccine that comes out, and I'm just like, bro, where were y'all? Bro, where were y'all? Do y'all remember when all these folks were screaming about vaccines causing autism, and y'all clown these same niggas, and now and y'all <laughs> just now y'all just shouting, oh, the vaccines do this and they do that and they do this and they do that, and that, oh, really remember? Remember? <laughs> what is it? Pepperidge Farm remembers. It's it's just crazy how quickly people flip. No, oh, yeah, yeah. It's no consistency. It's because it's not values based, right? It's just based on emotion. It's just based on uh, an, an attitude. Yeah, like I don't like want to get this vaccine, so all vaccines are bad now. I changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, I changed. We've I advanced past the need. Last year, Society right? has advanced past the need for vaccines. You said, have we? And another thing that kind of Poli- me Polio off, was doing the Birdman hair rub, like, yeah, yeah. Another All thing right. that pissed me off is um people saying, I don't trust it because it got here too quick. That just tells me that you don't know anything about the coronavirus because there's multiple strains of the coronavirus and they have been working on it for decades. Yeah, not they to mention... In yeah. the 90s. Yeah, SARS is a coronavirus. Again, yeah. like people don't educate themselves. They don't, exactly. So they were working on They just How'd they get a vaccine so quickly? First off, they already had different samples of corona. So it's not too hard to kind of make the jump to this one. Also, it's a global pandemic where millions of people are billions. dying. Fuck millions. But, well, billions are affected, though, right? Yeah. Billions are affected, but millions are dying. So if that doesn't light a fire under the asses of scientists to make a vaccine, yeah, scientists, governments, organizations, ev- nigga, everyone on earth, everyone, the entire global pop, like, that's my whole point. Why would you think something that affects the entire, fu- like, that's why I think so many American niggas only see America, and they only see yeah. us, because it's like, dog, 
this shit is affecting billions of people. At that point, bro, if I'm a Russian scientist, I'm gonna hit up my nigga in the US, like, bro, what y'all need? Like, yeah, yeah. How what y'all y'all need something? Yeah, yeah, I'm nigga, I'm gonna send it. I'm sending it now. It's, it should be there, like in 30 minutes. Any countries at war, we're putting that shit on hold. You still a bitch, but like healthy. y'all yeah. good? Y'all good? Y'all good over there? Why I need y'all you? healthy so we can fight y'all at full strength. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't want to beat up on no no fucking disabled nigga. That's fucked up. I don't, I'm not I don't get down like that. What's the I'm, point of me bombing Washington if everybody's dead in Washington already? Nigga see the bomb like thank you. Like, nah, I don't even want to drop that. Fuck all of them. Nah. suffering. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, right? Niggas looking like, no, no, no. Pick the bomb back up. Pick it up. You can't catch it? Catch the bomb! Do you <laughs> think... So, I see a lot of people saying, like, if Ebola was this, like, spread like this, or if it was a zombie virus, then we would be SOL. Do you think people would take coronavirus more seriously if it was more deadly? No. Only because yeah. if it was deadly, people would die quicker. And like so it wouldn't spread like that's the, the people there's trade-offs when it comes to lethality versus infect infectiousness right there's a trade-off right because corona is relatively infectious but when you look at the, the, the i think the the death rate it's it's well below one per, it's well below half of a percent yeah. right so it's like that's just the raw number ebola was like two percent nigga so we're talking about something that's arguably 10 to 15 times deadlier now think about it if 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 Corona I'm killed, I'm saying niggas that say I'm not scared of coronavirus. It only affects one percent of people. You don't think they'll say the same thing about two percent? Yeah, you know you can say that. You can say that. But then here's the problem: when you do the real fucking numbers, it starts to get ugly, right? Because if we're talking the same exact level of infectiousness as Corona, right? Like or as the Delta variant, Mu, or any of the other shits, and then but then you ratchet up the the the, the lethality of it by like fifteen. Time really spread like that because niggas gonna be so sick they can't even travel well, and spread. Well, it. in that case, it will, right? But the thing with Ebola is Ebola wasn't incredibly transmissible, if I'm not mistaken. Like it was, it was, but it like it was easier to get. It's way easier to get Corona than it is to get Ebola, right? And then once you yeah. get Ebola, Ebola will get you out of here so quick, nigga. You don't get a chance to give it to everybody, nigga. It's the type of shit where that by the end of that, like you get it in the morning by the end of your shift. Nigga, you got to go to the hospital. Like, <laughs> you got to. How is uh, Ebola passed? I know it's not respiratory like Corona. Is it through like? It's like blood, blood and saliva? fluids and shit like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So now imagine if Ebola, could, you could cough it onto a nigga, bro. That would kill millions of people yeah. easily, that easily. But that's imagine what I'm just saying. Breathing like coronavirus, and you breathe in a nigga face, and you got Ebola. That but that's what I'm saying. Out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's why I I think would we be like. If it was, if we're talking respiratory with the lethality of of Ebola, nigga, that's a nightmare. That is a that is a literal nightmare, nigga. Like because, but it, on the flip side, though, that's one of the ones where it ain't gonna be much resistance. I don't think so. I really don't. I think you might resist for a little bit, and once the once you, the once face the of that shit show up, nigga, yeah. it's what the fuck you like, bro. Think about it. Like, if we lost seven hundred thousand now, we talking fifty. Ten times more lethal, bro. We talking eight, nine, ten million people, nigga. We talking that's just uh, America. We, that's billions. Of yeah, people. and that's in a year and a half. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, so that nigga, we talking a uh, a Holocaust in every country, in every country, dog. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. that one gets real easy. That one gets real easy to deal with. Um, but the other thing, when you were talking about the where niggas will say like, oh, how do they get the vaccine so quick? And I'm like, well, hold on. If you believe that they released it. Then don't that answer your question? They knew it was coming. So that kind of thwarts a whole other conspiracy theory that niggas have. But that's on, but that's where I'd be asking for consistency in your conspiracy. Like you can't tell me they released it to the public and then ask me how they get the vaccine so quick. Bitch, they knew it was gonna get released. What do you mean? That's like asking what they just released the game, how they patch it so quick. Cause they knew what day the game dropped. <laughs> what you mean? Niggas just, they don't be thinking. It's just like consistency. Said, it's, That's yeah. it. If you're going to live the conspiracy theory, live it, follow it through, make it make sense. And if it don't, then what does that tell you? You got to start asking yourself the questions, baby. I just feel like a lot of people, their minds just didn't progress past high school. Because everybody was into conspiracy theories in high school. Everybody was sharing them Illuminati videos and fucking run this town mm-hmm. video with fucking Rihanna and 
or yeah, Umbrella I mean, with the I'm, Rain Man. Yeah, everybody was. Uh, what was that song with Jay Z? Where if you rewind it backwards, he talking about murdering Jesus. I'm like, yo. What was that? Every- um, it was one of the songs where they said they, they was saying, "Uh, we killed Tupac on the beginning of that shit." You remember yeah. that shit? It was like, "What song is that? Ball so hard." What song is that shit? I don't remember the song, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I can't think of the name of that song. Ball so hard. That shit cray. That shit cray. What song is that? Ball- is, that niggas, is that niggas in Paris? Oh yeah, I thought you were asking what song was the Tupac shit because that. No, it was that song. It was Niggas in Paris. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know why I couldn't think of the name of that song for a second. Yeah, I was like, I know you not asked me if Ball Too Hard is Niggas in Paris. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I just did. Couldn't think yeah, of the I, name. Yeah, I feel like it. niggas just, their minds just didn't grow past that, past the oh, whole conspiracy cool. thing. Like, Critical didn't... thinking is almost non existent now, man. I blame our school systems, dog. I mean, and don't get me wrong, I can't fully blame the school systems because. Overseas, they got good schools, and them motherfuckers are still stupid too. So I mean, yeah. it's like it's just global. But I think just stupid. I think some of it is um, you got to be. I mean, to me, I feel like it's one of those situations where think about it. In any other scenario, your government will never help you. They'll never try to actually do the right thing. So when you get in a scenario where there's a lot of skeptical skepticism, this and that, blah blah, and then the government's like, "Look, we're gonna make this free. We're gonna do everything we can to help you." People just instinctively are like, mm, that's bait. I don't believe it. I don't buy it. That's bait. Yeah, like literally the, the Mad Max shit. That's bait. Like, no, because think about it, bro. You so wait, you wouldn't help me go to college. You can't help me take care of my kids. You can't help me eat. You can't uh, help me uh get some clean air. You won't clean water. You're gonna get the lead out my pipes. But I'm supposed to believe I'm gonna get a free vaccine that's killing niggas like me. And I'm supposed to trust it. Why, why is it free? You don't never give a shit about niggas like us, but suddenly you do. Now, obviously, the, the public health perspective is, yeah, I only care about it because you niggas could kill the rest of us. Right? Like, that's the public health. And truthfully, that's the government's uh, stance. Nigga, they, the government don't care about none of y'all. Like, poor niggas, broke niggas, disabled. They don't care about these people, but they know y'all are the most likely to die, which means y'all gonna come to my hospital and die in my hospital and fuck up my system. Yeah, so, exactly. Again, it's not, it's it's still, they're right. It's, they, the government still don't care. It's just about, listen, dog, what, what happens if all of y'all go down is something that this system ain't built to handle. So it don't matter who it is. It don't matter whether you are low income, high income. I just can't have 90% ICU. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not a reasonable metric for me to maintain, my nigga. It's just, yeah. I can't do that. It don't matter who's in this bitch. I mean, plus, the more people dead, the less people pay taxes. I need y'all alive. Even and the I'm more poor dead. people dead, nigga, the less Amazon workers I have. The less niggas that's willing to take these 11 and $12 an hour jobs. People All right. don't think about that. They just no, they really... don't. They don't. Yeah. And to me, that's the easiest part of the conspiracy theory. Like, bro, rich niggas do not want to kill poor niggas. They need them. They want to drain them. They want to drain you for everything because... you're worth. Exactly. They're rich because of us. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like they don't like they need you. They just never gonna tell you that. But they need you. They absolutely need you. They need you. They need you. What is Amazon without any niggas in the warehouses? A drone delivery service? You know how much you money that costs? They, you know, they announced that drone delivery service a minute ago. Yeah, and why they didn't do it? I haven't seen a single drone delivery. Yeah, I'm sure they got a couple, but think about the logistics of how much shit that Amazon packages. And replacing all your warehouse niggas with drones. Bro, they don't have... Stop it. No one's spending that money. I would rather pay you niggas 40000 a year than, 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 than pay $100,000 for a drone, than do the maintenance on it, and then get a nigga to fly it, and I still got to pay the nigga to fly it. Like, no, bro. Are you stupid? That's hilarious to think about a job like that, though, where you just sit down and fly drones all day. Do yeah, literally, nigga, pick up a box. Where's <laughs> shit going? Chattanooga, damn. See, now, that's the type of job where I wouldn't mind getting paid minimum wage. You basically just... Piloting a drone, like nigga said, I wouldn't car. mind getting paid when I raise you. No, no, no. Cheap, you cheap whore. I'm just saying that job, you literally don't have to do anything but fly a drone. Around. So I want fifty five thousand a year, still. <laughs> and you deserve that. I do. You deserve I do. that. I'm just saying, I wouldn't mind if they, if nah. I, if I had to. But... Don't say that in front of management. We about to get a strike going if you say some shit like that. You're right. I'll be quiet. I shouldn't. Have... I'm not gonna put the idea in the head. Uh, speaking of strikes, uh, it's not on the list, and I'm not gonna get too deep into it. But uh, 
Kellogg is being boycotted. Um, so you can add them to the long list of niggas. Mondelez, Kellogg, I think went Nabisco. Saw that, and I was just, I was really happy that I could support the boycott. There's so many different strikes and boycotts that I take part of because I don't even buy Yeah, I don't even buy the shit. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, get y'all bread. I'm, but I the one it. thing I do enjoy about every strike is learning who owns what. And I'm just like, wow, I had no idea. Kellogg had 86 subsidiaries making all types of dog shit. Like, I've started seeing some of the shit. I'm yeah. like, oh, wow, that's Kellogg, huh? Seeing those lists always, it blows my mind. Like, seeing how much shit Pepsi and Coca-Cola. Yeah, Pepsi owned. or, yeah, Coca-Cola, yeah, Nestle or some shit. Out. And you're just like, damn, y'all niggas, y'all got tampons too? What the fuck? <laughs> what they got to do with Siri? He said, god damn, boy, them Kellogg boys making cars and shit. Them Kellogg's boys. <laughs> them Kellogg's boys, man. Um, shit, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, you want to get into Urban Meyer's uh, shenaniganry? Yeah, this might as well. Boy, this is... Okay, so this is sports talk, so if you don't enjoy sports, then uh, I don't I don't know what to tell you. But um, Urban Meyer, coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars, currently sit at 0-4. But before they were 0-4... They were 0 and 3. And so they went into a Thursday night game against the Bengals. Lost to the Bengals. They fought kind of hard. They, they looked decent. Um, lost to the Bengals. And this was in, in Ohio. And so Urban Meyer decided, mm, you know what? Let's just say everybody take a night out. Enjoy yourself. We need a little breathing. You know? We need to decompress. Yeah, Figure we need to we decompress. We're 0 and 4. We're not doing too good. Everybody just enjoy yourself, right? So interestingly, and, um, I do, I do too. Uh, interestingly enough, we didn't see videos of anybody else doing any wild shit, which I thought was interesting because no, you tell me a team full of football players and nobody else got caught on cam doing no weird shit on that night out. That's interesting. But um, what does happen is Urban Meyer gets caught grinding up on a shorty, uh, you know, finger popping her. All of that. Not like aggressively, but he was like, he did it like, uh-uh. And it was like, oh, wait, chill, chill. I'm bugging. She got jeans on. I'm in a bar. I'm wilding. Um, so he do that, right? Not he's a married. big deal unless he's married, which he is. So uh, this became a scandal for obvious reasons. You're, um, and uh, he addressed the media and he pretty much apologized. But he had his head down the whole time. It was like one of them. It was like when, like, your parents make you apologize to somebody. Like, oh, oh go ahead and apologize to her. Apologize to that lady. You just, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry for breaking your window, Miss, Mrs. Johnson. Like, it was one of them shits. Like, and then the owner steps in and pretty much was like, he was sick. He was like, man, look, this nigga broke our trust. He got to earn it back. Blah, 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 all this shit, right? So. That's everything that happened. There's a couple of minor details and some things for context I'm leaving out, but um, that's everything that happened. But what was most interesting to me was the reaction to the reactions, right? Because the immediate reaction from mostly everybody pretty much was like universal, like, what the fuck are you doing, dog? Yeah, like, like, like universal. Like, yeah, like, no, no anger, no, like, you're supposed to be a Christian man without, bro, I don't care. What the fuck are you doing? You're 0-4, getting caught at a bar, finger popping a shorty, and you got a wife? Go watch what? some tapes, nigga, so you don't be 0-5. Yeah, bro, bro, get your ass in the locker room, nigga, what the fuck? So, that was pretty much what everyone, that was the initial reaction, but then the rea- the counter reaction was what was most mystifying, because I saw all these people go out their way to stick up for this guy, right? Or try to cap for him, try to make excuses for him. Some people just tried to move the goalpost. Um, a couple of people did this thing where they pretended like everyone was like, like I guess they pretended we were all like Catholics or something. And so we were appalled at seeing him get grinded on. And I'm just like, dog, you think in America, that's what our, what you think sports fans, sports fans had a problem with a coach getting grinded on you think the sports fa- the sports fans who are most famously known for probably being misogynistic if we're gonna be honest you think they cared you think this was all about the, the but I, but i know you don't think that you have to pretend that you think that to then reduce it to that um but then i saw a couple other people right 
acting like, oh, well, who are we to judge and blah, blah, blah. And that's between him and his wife. And I'm like, no, no, no. It's between you and your wife when y'all get caught and we don't know about it. When I see you on cam cheating, it's between you, your wife, and the rest of us, my nigga. We know. Be- we because now we opinion. know. And and to me, the part that was crazy, I was like, all right, look at it like this. If you have a company party, I don't care what industry you're in. You got a company party. Y'all all come to the party, right? Y'all chilling. Y'all chilling. They doing a little presentation at the show. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. They're doing a little slide show. Going through the slides. Going through the slide. They get to the last slide. And it's a video of your boss. Oh, tonguing down the shorty from HR. Bad little thing from HR. Except he got away. Do that man have to explain himself to y'all? Yes. He absolutely does. So this is why I was sitting up here looking I'm confused. Man, I'm getting a promotion. Right. I'm, so I was, promotion. I'm keeping the same job, getting more money. Yeah. Now, granted, does he owe y'all anything? No, no, no. He don't owe y'all nothing. But my whole point is, bro, you can't cheat on your wife. We all see it and think that you ain't got to address it. Right? Like, that's just. Yeah. Know, yeah. Like, we know. We, know, we, we, we see wife. your wife, my nigga. Like, we have to address. You got to address that. It's not like you got to sit up here and, and beg for forgiveness. Nigga, no, no, no. Do that with your wife. Nigga, I'm not even that tight. Like, it is what it is. But, and that was the part that killed me because I remember there were reports, and I don't know how true these reports were, but they made some sense um, of the players basically hearing his apologies and hearing him kind of trying to, like, oh, she was just standing near me and do, do, do. And when he left the room, they just laughed because to me, it's like, think about it, as a player, you really think the players don't do worse shit than cheat on a girl? Come yeah. on. These players that be killing niggas. Like, bro, these players didn't really care that much. But then when you come into a room full of grown-ass men after getting caught on camera trying to finger finger a little shorty you met at the bar who you knew before you met her at this bar. bar. Who you knew before you met at the bar, which is another detail that, that folks left out for a little bit. You think you ain't even, bro, and then you're going to lie to a grown man face like, yeah, you know, I was I was just standing there and I was a little smacked off the henny and, you know, shorty started dancing in front of me. And I'm like, nah, chill, I got a wife. And she was like, all right, well, I'm going to just dance right here. I said, cool. Like, bro, you, you want me to believe that? I'm 29, dog. I don't believe that. I'm, a, I'm an eight-year NFL vet, dog. I, like, you really think I'm going to sit up here and let my coach lie to me in my face? Like now I'm being disrespected. Exactly. Care. Now you just disrespect me because and to me that was my whole thing. Like, bro, you could have easily just came into your team and said, Look, y'all, I fucked up. Now nah, I mean I sh- this is a distraction for y'all. It's it's, it's gonna bring undue attention to us, blah blah. My bad. We we gotta get back to it. My fault. And niggas will just be like, Yeah, well, it happens. And but it got it. back to it, right? But you know, my thing is not only is this just a bad by itself, but then it's like when you consider the past that Urban Meyer has, right? Um, when he went to Florida, mind you, he was the coach with uh, Aaron Hernandez, certified killer. A um, couple hey, other hey. wild things. Hmm? I said, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a good. Um, he, at Ohio State, he had a uh, domestic abuser on his staff, right? Hell yeah. Um, when he first got to the Jaguars, tried to hire a racist nigga. And yeah, literally, he did. See. This is the shit I love to see, yo. This and the wildest part was out. the racist nigga literally had to tell him, yo, look, I'm going to take bro, my name. I'm, I'm going to take my name out of consideration, bro. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. They, they banging on you right now, bro. I don't think you understand. Out for him. Bro, bro, how is bad is it when you just like, bro, no, fuck that. You my nigga, bro. I don't, bro, no, 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 no. Fuck that. You my nigga for real, bro. You know, bro. How long you been riding with me? I ain't going to let these people make you turn my, my back on. I ain't turning my... He like, bro, listen, 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 stop, stop, stop. No, bro. Nah, 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 nah. You not hearing me. Like, you not, you not hearing me. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about the friendship. I know you, my nigga. Bro, I'm not going to fuck your job up like this, though. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to come to your job with my baggage and fuck now, your shit up. The next... The next easily answerable question is, why was he fighting so hard for a racist thing? Because that's his nigga. But that's just, it's nepotism. Like, he's a, no, he's, no, he's a crony. Well, I mean, he might be racist too. But yeah, exactly. my whole point that's is, Urban Meyer is a crony nigga. He, he's he's like that. Like, you know how, like, Trump used to just, like, if you like him and, and you lawyer to him. Yeah, yeah. As long as you lawyer to him, bro, he's going to ride to the ends of the earth for you. But the problem is, you got bad niggas around you. So when you got bad niggas and you loyal to bad niggas, what do that make you? Like, like, come on. So 
to me, that was the part where I seen a whole bunch of niggas talking about some, oh, this and that, blah, blah. I even seen Emmanuel Acho say some shit. And boy, boy, is that nigga grinding my gears, man. I'm telling you, it's one of these days, man. One of these days, because this nigga was talking about some, oh, you know, That's we feel so- segment because a lot of shit be grinding my gears. You yeah, for sure. Um, but this nigga was talking about some, oh, you know, oh, uh, uh, what the fuck was he saying? What was he saying? Oh, he was saying like people feel real comfortable, uh, 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 you know, basically judging folks for shit that go on in their private life that are die. And I'm like, my nigga, stop. It's public one. Who ain't you supposed to be? I looked at this nigga bio. This shit got God in it. He mentioned God in his bio. And so how you gonna claim the God shit and then watch a grown man break his vows? You know the vows where you in, in, invoke God's name, right? Yeah. How you gonna break them godly vows by cheating and then you gonna lie to me, which is it's another sin. Talking about some she was standing close to me. My nigga. My nigga, you know her. Y'all linked before. I'm supposed to believe you met up with a shorter you linked with before at a bar, and she was just dancing like three feet from you, like just like just close enough to where you could almost reach her. But like, bro, stop it, stop it. Who yeah, you fool? He was finger popping her. You know yeah, exactly. He was thinking about smashing your head. Yeah, he was thinking you like, know. oh, you like, girl, I'm telling you, if my niggas wasn't in this bar with me. <laughs> mm. Which is also the other thing. Who recorded this? Like, somebody wants you, bro. Somebody wants you out. <laughs> somebody wants you out of here, bro. Yeah, that's, no, that's the just, part we missed. <laughs> people that aren't football fans aren't just going to recognize who the fuck Urban Meyer is. And okay, so they would. Because this is at a bar in Ohio. We do have to remember this. Urban Meyer is, was a god at Ohio State. Right? Oh. Like, so, yeah, so yeah no, 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 yeah. fan of Ohio, so they yeah, no, no, yeah. listen, if you see Urban Meyer in a bar in Ohio, you're going to know it's Urban Meyer. Like, Urban Meyer is known in Ohio. Like, I, I would full, full, like, wholeheartedly expect him to be identified, which oh. is also why it's bonkers that you're doing what you're doing, because you're in, in a Ohio. bar in, oh, in a place where you made your name. See, this, the only way that I could have did it, though, was because the girl lives in Ohio, so it had to be here. I had oh, to, take I had her to, to the telly. What do you do, bro? Get the hotel in the fake name, invite her up. You what you ain't did this before? Do I have to tell you how to cheat? Urban. Urban baby, come on now. Maybe he didn't want to cheat. Maybe he just wanted to stick it in real quick and smell it. I'm sorry. Long story short. Um, I did see a couple people where they were just like, "Wow, it's so crazy how people want Urban Meyer to fail." And I remember I clicked through the comments and, the first... him to fail. He's and no, no, hold on. and the first picture was "I'm people," and I was like, "Yes, yes, I'm people. It's me. I'm people. Absolutely, I want to see him fail because he's done nothing but fail. On top of, of course, winning some 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 championships. I mean, in college, he won them. But the problem is, in he, college, he no you can super. win it off of power. You can win it off of coercion and all the shit you do because those are kids, right?" And back in the day, there wasn't no transfer portal. So if a kid didn't like you and you buried him at the bottom of the death chart, he had to eat that. Now a kid can leave and they get, but even then, it's still the same sort of condition. Where those, they're, those are kids. They're nineteen or twenty. Them motherfuckers ain't full fledged humans. You get to the NFL, bro. You deal, like I said, you dealing with a thirty one year old, ten year NFL vet. Yeah, you not about to just flex no man. power on him because he looking at you like my nigga. You just got here. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? What about this team you? You just oh 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 okay. You want a little? You want a couple little games against Bama and shit? Thinking you, bro, bro, my nigga. Let me let me tell you how this shit work here. It's eighteen niggas on this roster from Bama. You hear me? Eighteen. Okay. So that little that little shit you was doing down there at that level, that's gonna work. That's gonna work down there because you could just get what you want down there. You the king down there, nigga. You ain't no king in Jacksonville. Who the fuck is you in Jacksonville? A nigga with a clipboard. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, prayers down for uh, Urban Meyer and the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. I I do hope they go in sixteen. I gen- I said this before the season. Once I saw like the between the racist coach and and them drafting Travis Etienne, a lot of different decisions I saw that showed me this guy's not cut out for this. So yeah, no prayers down for sure. Um. Obviously not like health wise. Like no, nah, I don't want you dead, nigga. I just don't want you to succeed in this job. I don't. I want to see you fail at this job. Absolutely. Um, speaking of wanting to see niggas fail at their jobs, 
let's talk about Dave Chappelle. I guess we I guess we got to do it. Guess we got to do it. Chappelle. So before we begin, let me just preface this by saying I did not watch the latest special. I unfortunately watched like the last three before this because I think it was four. Was it four? This is the fourth one, I think. I don't know how many special. Are you counting like the shit he put? No, 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 not the old ones. Like it's like the most recent, uh, the most recent ones, the most recent ones. I think he did. Are you only counting Netflix specials or like? Remember he had like that eight. The little Instagram thing. Um, George Floyd on Instagram. Are you counting that? I mean, I watched it, so I don't... Yeah, I watched it. I mean, I, I mean, I guess we could. I'm not sure. But um, I'm just... So I think it's... I think Because I think it's three Netflix specials and then that. So maybe you're right. Yeah, maybe it's three and then that one. But um, I watched the previous ones. Like, I think it was two specials and then that George Floyd thing. Um, And so I haven't watched this new special. And um, I don't know. I'm considering watching it, but I I know that 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 turf part is gonna piss me off. Um, yeah, the, just like um, his the very first special when he came back, where he, I enjoyed the special overall, but that one section where he was talking about the trans person at the party. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That and there was like, yeah, bro, grow up, come on. Yeah, and so, but he just keeps doing it. Yeah, yeah. and so so for to make I, I guess to sum it all up, right. Um, he pretty much openly says he's a turf in the newest one. Um, that has really? been confirmed. No, he openly says it. he said he's team turf, uh, which makes it a little uglier. Um, I never heard that. The only shit I heard was the, the baby shit. I said he said daddy said he stood with J.K. Rowling. Um, uh, a lot of yeah, a lot of other nasty shit like that. Um, yeah. and so for me, um, it just kind of gets to a point where it's just like, listen, I hate. <sighs> Well, let me, I guess the, the the starting point is that it's probably more disappointing because of who Dave Chappelle is. Because truth be told, Dave Chappelle is genuinely a legend. Um, yeah. And I think that even with this, he's still a legend. But I think that this is this is as cheap as it gets, in my opinion. Um, this is just kind of as low as he's gotten his whole career. And I don't know if he goes continues to go lower from this. I would assume he does because I don't see why he would go up. But um, it's just cheap. It's just incredibly cheap. It's just, and to me, it's just one of these things where it's like, I've always disliked when comedians do this thing where it's like, oh, okay, like, oh, I'm getting pushback for something. Well, I'm just going to lean into it. it. I'm going to keep leaning into it. And then I'm going to, like, I'm I'm fine with that for the jokes, for a couple jokes, and then you get your shit off and then keep it moving. But then when you do it every time, every time, and now it's like, when you then are also the guy who's like, oh, I don't care about Twitter. It's not the real world. Y'all got to get outside, touch grass. Right. And yet you keep bringing up something that, you know, is going to go crazy on Twitter. It's going to trend on Twitter. And it's like, bro, you can't tell me that David, David Chappelle is not as is not smart enough to understand what he's doing. And that's the part that bothers me because his fans want me to believe he's fucking stupid. Which is ridiculous because I've heard this man give very poignant a social commentary on a lot of different shit. So I know the man can think. I know he's got critical thinking skills. So I know when he makes decisions like this. It's not an accident. Yeah. Right. It's not like, oh, I just accidentally pissed y'all off for three straight specials. No, 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 no. You understand that I I can do this for 10 minutes. It'll always be a cheap laugh. There's always going to be a segment of people who are turfs who are going to love this shit. So even if they hated the whole special, and that's the thing that I think other people are missing, right, is that there are some people who live off of just riling other people up. And I don't think Dave's one of those people, but I think he's appealing to those people. And I think once you do yeah, that, I mean, it becomes synonymous. About this, you see the type of people that Dave is hanging around now. Like, ever since he's made his reemergence, he's been taking pictures with people like Joe Rogan. So, like, I don't actually think Joe Rogan is the idiot right-wing dickhead like Alex Jones. I believe that he's doing it for a check. Which, don't get me wrong, that's just as deplorable. Yeah. You're still a piece of shit, but you're not stupid. Like yeah, exactly. Right, right, yeah. And yeah. I think Dave is the same way. He's hanging around these people, he's getting information from them, absorbing it, and he's doing the same shit, just not right wing. It's just uh transphobic or homophobic, whatever he's doing. Right. He, he's doing the same shit. He's yeah. getting the bag mm-hmm. for you know turfs. He's getting yeah. the niggas that love it, he's appealing to it. And 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 that was the other thing because I remember seeing um 
it was uh so there's this woman I follow on Twitter. Um, she does a lot of work like as it relates to like rape, uh, sexual abuse, and all that stuff. And she was posting studies about like you know because you know how people always oh it's just a joke da da da. And she was basically posting studies that show like when you introduce like so basically it was like a control group right, and they had some niggas who just you know they just heard regular comedy and then other niggas heard comedy that came at the expense of certain groups and then what they did was poll these people on the groups after they sat through all the shit and what they found was well what do you think right like when you tell a bunch of racist jokes suddenly niggas seem a bit more comfortable with racism yep right like again but these are basic concepts right i don't think anyone had to genuinely have a study for this but these are one of those things that people pretend is not a real correlation and so yeah, super off topic, but I just got a notification that Chris Carson is doubtful for Yeah, no, he's not playing, doggy. You didn't see that all niggas have been talking about Alex Collins starting all week. Um but yeah, so to me it's just like that's why I always hated it. Oh, it's just jokes, it's just jokes. Because again, there are studies to prove if jokes you make, lead to right, right, right. right. Exactly. Normalization. That's mostly what it is. Because think about it. If I joke every single day about rape, at some point or another, rape becomes a joke to me. I don't really take like it seriously anymore. It's the slippery people. slope. It's exactly. Yeah. So, so for people who are sitting here, oh, you guys don't understand comedy, da, da, all this other shit. I'm like, dog, most of the people who are mad are were probably fans of Dave Chappelle at one point or another. And that's the part where it's just like, again, it's just to me, it's just it's so much dick sucking from his fans. And that's the part yeah. that really enrages me because it's like, yeah. bruh, en- engage this in good faith, please. But you can't no, because you wouldn't be able even, to defend him if you engage this in good faith. And I yeah. think that's the problem. I didn't even care about the special. What pissed me off was just uh all the people that are were defending him. Like, bro, everybody yeah, like, everybody's so sensitive these days. So since bro, y'all need to understand just because somebody doesn't like something is not because they're sensitive. When I don't like a nigga talking shit about trans people, I'm not sensitive. He shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. Because so like the whole argument about yeah. cancel culture and being sensitive and shit, nobody's sensitive. We just want to hold niggas accountable for saying stupid shit. But I, y'all dick eat so much, y'all turn it into cancel culture. Only niggas be talking about cancel culture, they not the niggas cancel people. It's no. niggas opposed to cancel culture. So, so my thing is, people are more sensitive. But then here's the thing. When the data shows that the jokes lead to violence, why the fuck wouldn't they be? Like, That's think true, about too. this. If the data shows, oh, joking about trans people leads to people having bad and negative attitudes about trans people, which then leads to what? We don't care about policy. We don't care about... you. you get, so think about this. How can you expect someone to then hear those same jokes, know the effects of the jokes, and just, eh, I'm going to let it roll off my back? No you, no, you wouldn't do it. You know why? Because let any other motherfucker sit up here and make all these racist jokes about niggas, knowing the effect they would have on niggas. Y'all would lose your mind. But again... We know there's no consistency. This is what I mean. It's not it's not moral based. It's not value based. It's just emotional reactionary bullshit. It's just <gasps> I'm getting a reaction out of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm gonna support anything that y'all don't like. I'm counterculture. Uh, that's it. I'm counterculture. That's what it's called. Yeah, I'm a contrarian. Yeah. I'm the nigga who's gonna go against what y'all wanna go. Oh, you like Beyonce? Shit, I tell you what. I don't. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't. Yeah. Oh, y'all like Doja Cat? Man, she was in them chat room showing feet, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now that one, I don't know if that's like a, that's not the same. No, it is because y'all support real killers, rapists, and, and drug dealers, but a shorty showing feet in the, in the chat room where niggas was racist at some point. Like, come on, bro. Like, is <laughs> a racial chat room showing feet? Um, but yeah, that's so the funniest tweet. Of all yeah, nah, that shit. Like, Nori's never gonna that. He will go in the Hall of Fame for that shit. Like, nigga, before like. Niggas might forget about motherfucking uh band from TV and, and Nori's rap career, but they'll never forget about she it's was a in a racial chat, chat room showing feet. Every time I read it, I read it in Future's voice when he say she belongs to the streets. I always read it as she was in a racial chat room showing, showing feet. feet. <laughs> oh man. But um, but yeah, so I'm mean, and then to me, the other thing that pisses me off about the cancel culture conversation is Truth be told, no one has ever gotten canceled. The only person, and it was funny, uh, two names were came up, and then one of them got crossed out to me. The only two people who have ever actually been something close to cancel culture recently, at least, 
uh, or who? Uh, I, when I say recent, I mean in the last 20 years, because you got to go back that far. If we're talking last years, no, no, no. If you're talking last five years, no one's been canceled. <laughs> if you're talking five, nobody has been canceled. Louis C.K. committed a criminal act and sold out his tour this, this year. No fucking way. Yes, he sold out a tour. No fucking Now, I'm not saying, no. you know, the venues might be smaller than they were, but it doesn't matter. Bro. Like, what I'm saying is... I thought that nigga dropped off the face of the earth. I haven't heard <laughs> shit from this nigga. I haven't heard a single thing from him. No, you haven't heard it because people aren't covering it, but that's the thing. Like, people will liken cancel culture to folks chipping away at your... Like, bro, if you had a platform and you lost 30% of it, you weren't canceled. You, you were not got, canceled. So if you have 7 million followers and you lost 30%, you still good. You still yeah. got a lot yeah, of yeah. Well. Yeah. Right. Now, don't get me wrong. Thirty percent is a huge loss, like in terms of like per you know percentage wise. Like, yeah, if anybody losing thirty percent of their shit, yeah, that's a tough hit. But my nigga, it's not cancellation. And somebody else said Kevin Spacey, and I'm like, bro, are we just naming people with criminal cases? Is Kevin that what Spacey cancellation was is? Now? In a fucking commercial addressing the allegations as a joke. Yeah, as his character. On as top of character. on top of the fact that what he was accused of was a criminal act. This is the part that people keep missing. Okay, okay. Are we saying that the judicial system is part of cancel culture? Is that what we say? Judges are jail, judges are the arbiters of cancel culture, or is that what we saying, bro? Anybody who's going to jail has been canceled. <laughs> is that what the y'all saying? Back in the day, he used to exile niggas. We need to bring that back. Dog. Bro, I'm, niggas said R. Kelly, bro, he went to jail. Federal yeah, charges. Canceled. Niggas are protesting his arrest. Bro, he's federal federal charges. We didn't cancel him, boy. The federal government did. How is that cancel cold? Like, but again, we lose the plot. Because these people, it's not about any consistency. It's not about, about again, it's just I want to piss people off. I don't want to be, nah, nah, nah. I'm not like the rest of y'all. Yeah, I'm different. I'm different. I'm so different, in fact, that I belong to a group of mad niggas who are different. I'm like, hmm. So are you really that different? Or are you just on the other side of this shit? Nah, I'm different. Okay. Yeah, it's it's foolery. Uh, What was the other name? Daniel Caesar. Is but again, he wasn't canceled either. He had a song with Justin Bieber this year, and I was like, Wow, okay, I didn't know that, but I didn't either because he got canceled. Well, <laughs> yeah, actually, right? That's what that was my thought. I was like, Nah, I didn't get actually. I didn't listen to him to begin with, so I wouldn't have known he had a song with Justin Bieber anyway. But the funniest shit is, we talk musicians, if we're talking musicians who actually got canceled again, this is before quote unquote cancel culture, but the Dixie Chicks got done crazy by white people. That's the crazy yeah, part. yeah, because it's. You talk the anti-war shit. Yeah, Yeah, you talk the anti-war shit, boy. That government gonna come fry your ass. Uh, Who was the other one? Um, I mean, we going way back. We talking Shanae O'Connor when she tore up the picture of the Pope. Yeah, they wasn't. That was before my time. I didn't even know that was a thing. No, yeah. Well, we'll think about it. She went on Saturday Night Live in the eighties and tore up a picture of the Pope. Oh yeah, that'll get you canceled. Uh, Yeah, nigga, fuck a cancel, nigga. They wanted that bitch dead. (laughs) They wanted her dead, nigga. Believe it. I believe it. And I don't even remember what um like why. Like I don't I don't remember yeah, why she did that. Yeah, I'm sure it was I'm sure it was yeah. and niggas immediately lost the plot because they didn't want to talk about that. They I just saw a news article yesterday, like three. Oh yeah, get into it. Yeah, get into it. Got um uh-huh. I can't say it because it will get taken off of YouTube, but they got uh accosted by Catholic priests. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two hundred thousand. They said, and this is over like I think seventy years. They said, and it's so thin. Two hundred thousand is such a wildly large number, and that's one. the ones that we know of. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And to me, the the nastiest part is like, bro, I just don't get the need to protect niggas. Like it's to me, I look at it the same way with colleges, where you know how like with colleges. Every college will report their statistics, and they be like, "Oh no, we only had two, uh, two assaults or two sexual assaults." And I'm like, "Bro, you telling me West Virginia University? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you telling me Eastern Carolina? You like you telling me Ohio State, Michigan? You tell you telling me these niggas for the whole school with thirty some thousand students, two, two for a full year, two." 
right? But it's the same sort of thing, right? Where none of the schools are like, well, nah, I don't want to be known as the school that got all the cases because if I start treating it truly, these niggas won't. And I'm just like, bro, is that what this about? Ew. Yeah, about they don't give a fuck about the nah, Ew. And so it's the same thing with the church where it's like, no, I could get rid of these niggas, but then think about it. What happens if I fire five of these niggas and then they ask, well, why you fire them? Um... They um they did some shit they weren't supposed to, okay? Yeah, basically. What, what was that? It was it was some things Whoa, that we can't now. tolerate. Okay. So and not to mention, think about it. Part of the issue is that they've been covering up for these niggas for so long. So it's like you can't ride for a nigga in nineteen seventy eight and then suddenly cut him it's off. Stop, 30, right? Yeah, suddenly <laughs> cut him off thirty five years later, like, hey look, bro. That's why they, they on our ass. So I, I, I'll be going to have to let you go. And he's like, bro, no, no, you not. What you mean? That's why I can't support Catholicism in any way, shape, or form. Because even like people like the Pope now, they say he's a good Pope, he's a good guy. No matter how good of a person yeah, you the are, system is the system. When you baby. step into that position, mm-hmm. it's like the president of the United States, bro. We yeah. know how this shit go. You gonna have like to press a said, button and kill some innocents just like the rest of these niggas. Exactly. Like you said, if they've been covering up. Uh, abuse of minors since the seventies. The new nigga in right now isn't just gonna suddenly stop doing that, no matter how good a person you might be. And I ain't even gonna hold you. Excuse me. In some some circumstances, they probably ain't even telling your ass. Why would yeah, they? Yeah, it probably it don't even make it up the chain. Yeah, why would you they just need throw it to? Up themselves. Yeah, they just gonna oh, we just gotta move so and so to Chattanooga in the middle of nowhere. You're like, damn. Oh. Wow, you was just in New York City. Yeah, he said he wanted to be alone, like in the middle of nowhere. He just said he feel more comfortable out there. They need to worry away the fuck out there. Okay, uh, All right. I mean, I yeah, guess he said like work. he said, can he come today? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, yeah, he got all his shit packed up. I'm, I could send him over right now if y'all y'all take him. He's like, damn. All right, well, I mean, yeah, cool. And then you get him out there, and he just yeah, y'all don't got like no schools or nothing near here, right? Niggas like, nah, we you everybody's homeschooled. Everybody's homeschooled. He said, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's shit, nigga smacking on the gum. Why you, you know? ask that, my boy? <laughs> <laughs> so, hmm? What was that? Um... <laughs> but what you yes. got to see through? <laughs> he said, What 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 we seeing? What's going through and what's what's being seen? Yeah, no, nah, I remember reading that article. You know, it's so wild to me how when you look at organized religion, it is a hellhole. Um, and that's across every single religion. It, like it, it don't it don't matter what the book said because every religion breeds the breeding grounds for abusers. Like when you really think about it, like and not to say that um faith and you know what i mean like i'm it goes one way like if you're an abuser you look to a church a church don't look for an abuser right but if you're an abuser a church is a perfect place to fit in because there's all these appeal to authority there's all this nah nah i'm the dude there's all this hierarchy type shit so it's like if you can get to the top of that food chain dog it's almost like iron fist where it's like oh shit nigga at this point yeah ain't finna tell me nothing I'm going to do what I want, and niggas ain't going to step against me because then I could just quote the Bible, or I can quote the Quran, or I can quote the, the Torah, or I can quote the, the, uh, the, the, I already said the Torah is the Jewish one, right? Yes. I was going to say the Holy Dreidel or something, but that ain't it. Oh, oh. glad you didn't say that. The yeah. Well, I mean, I, I still said it, but I, yeah, well, but I'm anyway. But you didn't, like, actually, like. But yeah, so it's like, it's the perfect breeding ground for the certain types of niggas. You know what I mean? Like, like niggas who are just like, yeah, I want to go somewhere where anytime I get caught up, I could just be like, well, I'm a sinner. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, anytime I, like, you just like, bro, bro, what? I'm a sinner. So we all sinners in here. Every day we all sin and all sin is created equal. I'm like, my man, my man, you tried to hit my wife. Like, what? what, what? Also, I don't know about all sin being created equal. I mean, child molest. Uh, well, no, I mean, it depends. Now what religions you belong to but certain religions uh like baptist belief uh all sins are created what is it baptist or protestants or i don't know you know the shit get confusing once you start getting to denominations just worse than other shit in my book just, no i well the whole point of them saying that was to basically say like you can't judge the nigga for the next shit because 
at the end of the day, we all finna sin at some point or another. And you it's can't like judge me for drinking and then cheating on art uh because wait no no, you can't yeah, judge yeah, me yeah, yeah, for yeah, assaulting yeah. children because yeah. you drink and cheat on your wife. Listen, the point was not to compare them at all. That's the problem. That you're no. making the you're making the first mistake, which is not to compare them. Like they basically no, let you know. We're saying, like, we're saying you can't compare them because we they all the same. That's what they're getting at. Like nigga, bad is bad. I'm gonna make you pay for all of them. It don't matter what you did, nigga. Oh, you looked at her button church? Yeah, I got you. Don't worry about it. Wait, that can't be a sin. Huh? How that sin? Shit, if it is, I was. I was yeah. in there. Lord forgive me, I was in there acting up. I'm up to no good. For real. That's why I don't think all shit, all sins are equal because. I, I mean, mean, you don't believe, have to. It's, it's, it's just. I don't even believe in hell, <laughs> but there's some niggas that do some shit so hands. I'm like, I want niggas to create a hell just for this. <laughs> this That's shit. He start praying, punished. Lord, let there be a hell and let this nigga end up there, please. Some niggas it's, need to be punished. He said, Lord, let's listen. If there isn't, when I go, can you put me in charge of making it? Like, I, I can get it done. Go. Make me the ghost writer. I'll punish this nigga myself. <laughs> he said, make me the construction worker. I can get it done. I promise you. I, I, I can make some calls. I can get it built. It's just, it, we need a place to harbor some of these niggas. Some of these niggas don't deserve redemption. I'm sorry. Interestingly enough, uh, I think this is a good segue into a uh, pretty somber topic. But uh, so did you hear, and I'm going to have to look her name up. because I Sombra I, from Overwatch? <laughs> I wasn't sure if he's going to get that joke because you don't you... play Overwatch. <laughs> you, you, Why you played Overwatch? You don't play it actively. But. Yeah, no. Um, so this there was a oh, goodness. I I can't find this woman's name, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get her name wrong. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, so you heard about this story out of uh Florida about a woman Maya Marcano or Marsano. I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name. Am I um, missing her? With the yeah, yeah, and the maintenance man and all of that. Um, so that one was pretty tough. That was a tough read, uh, reading all that shit because between that and the video I seen today, like the woman trying to key into her apartment, the guy literally chasing her, trying to get into her apartment. It's like at some point, oh, you didn't see that. So there was a video today. I think that was from New York. There was a woman like get like keying into her apartment, an apartment building. And then as she opens her door, you can see the dude sprinting around the corner. He gets to the door and he's trying to get in like right behind her. She closes it and locks it. Um, but between yeah. those two videos, um, I think we are at a point now where we have to realize that we can't keep, and, and when I say we, I, I'm talking to the people who are willing to even consider this, right? I'm not talking to the idiots who are just going to fight this tooth and nail to the end. But at some point, we can't keep sitting up here telling women to defend. Like, we're going to have to start smoking niggas ourselves, like us, like men. Like, because the problem here is, you can't keep telling women to be careful when the intent is to do harm to someone, right? Like, that's just not, there's no level of carefulness that stops someone who is intent on committing a crime against you, right? Like, I can be as careful as I want. If you want to steal from me, you'll find something to steal. Like, yeah. you'll you'll steal something. You'll, you'll break into my car. You'll eventually get to me. Doesn't matter how how much I, you know, how, how, how smooth I move, you're going to find me. So, to me, at a certain point, um, I think it's it, it's on uh, men to start, uh, for lack of a better word, body bagging these niggas. I mean, I just think yeah. some of these niggas gotta go. Um, and I don't think I'm not willing to wait for a system that don't even you know look the system don't care about women. They don't. I'm not gonna do that. Why would we bother? It's like it's so much easier to to, to get it back how we used to get it. You know what I'm saying? So I think there's got to be a lot just got there has to be more of that cuz these case, these aren't cases that need to be going through systems these don't need yeah. to go through systems dog once you get what you get and you find oh where you was trying to get it to do it. oh you was going to do what oh all right all right yeah we're going to deal with this like you remember like 2 months ago the instagram model uh mercedes mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. she got um yeah by a stalker or some dude who, yeah some yeah some random stalker came to her apartment yeah. and Choker and it's like and, dog yeah. and that's the thing like obviously what happened is not fucking safe niggas just be coming out of nowhere yeah and the i think this man at her her own house she's mm-hmm. not safe in her own apartment there's mm-hmm. a maintenance man with keys right. just pop up like this shit is disgusting 
Ooh, excuse me. And um, and that's the other the other half of that, right? Okay, Obviously, other girl uh, a couple months ago that was showing the video of the nigga walking outside her door. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. right, so man, right. And, of this shit. and remember the back, the the not backlash, but like the 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 pushback on that one, where it was just, oh, nah, y'all bugging, da da da, we're about this, that, da da da. Little, and, and then, then the, the funny nigga part, did an interview and said, if and said, I was trying to get in that motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, literally, literally admitted to like I was finna get up in that shit. Now he ain't say what he's finna do when he got in there, but come on now. So I think one, the look, the first half of this is is the back end, right? Where we didn't do the work on the front end. These niggas do what they do. We gotta start whacking motherfuckers. It's just that simple, right? Like we yeah, gonna have to. Else. Yeah, we are gonna have to start. Uh, we gonna have to start doing it. We are gonna have to. I can't think of any more euphemisms for smoking motherfuckers, but. What? Um, have you seen that video of Doctor Umar speaking at like some? Oh yeah. Uh, for man. good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go yeah. For yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Literally, literally though. Um. So that's the back end, right? The front end though. Uh, and this is the part that niggas ain't gonna do, unfortunately. But at least I can do my part. Um, is I'm that niggas, niggas in your group? One, and two. I'm talking way before that. We gotta start raising kids different, bro. Because I'm oh, thinking. I'm not worried about that. I'm not gonna have kids. Yeah, no, no, no. Right, but the problem is somebody else's kids still affect your life, and that's always been the problem. Somebody else's kids is fucking up my daughter life, or fucking up my cousin life, or my niece's life. So I'm no, I may never have right. kids. Niggas need to raise their kids right, but. I'm gonna raise them because I'm not having kids. Oh, right. But right. you, you definitely right. Yeah. But so that's the other part because I think back to when I was in middle school, right? Um, and it's like, and I always think like, cause think about it with, with all the awakenings that people are having lately, and, and all the shit that people are realizing what consent is and what's not consent, and this and that, blah blah. Dog, when you really look back on a lot of encounters you might have had with girls in eighth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, bro, a lot of that shit was skeevy. A lot of that shit was yeah. Yeah, like I ain't talking borderline. Like some of that shit was, nigga. Like so, if you go to a yeah. court, nigga, they would consider some of that shit. I say, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh... so because like I think back when we was in middle school, bro, we used to literally like you know walk around having girls butts, and yeah. teachers just yo y'all yo go ahead yo come on man with that shit yo y'all y'all chill out. Like dog, bro, say more than that. Yeah, like bro, bro, bro. I just walked up to a shorty. I don't know, squeeze her ass, and she looked distraught. And your best bet is y'all, y'all get to class, man, before y'all be late. Right. So to me, it's like the shit start early, and it just exactly. gets enforced, the and it's like the environment has been fostered already. Right, and it's like, and and so to me, that's gonna be the bigger issue, right? That's the harder part, but that's the heavy lifting, but that's the part that has to change because if that part don't change. All you can do is the back end, which is murking niggas, right? Like that's all you can do because once you 29 and you got all these, bro, I can't, I can't change you then. Especially since you don't want it. I can't change you. At that point, I just have to murk you. That, that's the only option. But it's like, all right, cool. We gotta create a world where this nigga don't turn into this nigga. It, we, you know what I'm saying? We need a whole nother timeline where y'all don't become these niggas. And that's the problem. Once you there, I, I don't think I can do much for you. You know what I'm saying? Once you are willing to chase a woman into her apartment, you got to go. It's really yeah. simple. Like, there's no reforming you, in what my opinion. You got to go. In life, do you have to take where that thought even crosses your mind? Fuck crosses I, your mind. Acting it out? I don't if know. It does cross your mind? How does something I don't like know. Happen? But I, got, I get the feeling that it's got something to do with the fact that we let niggas mistreat women, every, or girls, every step of the way from... from from early on where, you know, the boys don't do nothing in the house and the girls do it all. Like, nigga, it's like, when you really think about it, like, you got so many daughters that become honorary parents in their households, and then the sons just be dickheads, they just do whatever they want, and meanwhile, the oldest daughter might as well be the third parent. Yeah. And so, to me, it's just a lot of that shit got to change, and a lot of folks need to start examining some of that shit. And I know a lot of people won't, because that's the hardest part. That's the part that requires the actual effort. Right. The easy part is to look on the back end and say, ladies, be careful. These niggas is tripping out here, which which is the equivalent of like, damn, that's crazy. You know, like it's literally the equivalent of that. Like, I ain't finna offer you nothing useful. I'm not going to tell you nothing you ain't heard before. But like, y'all be safe, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you ain't saying shit. Um, But niggas stay doing that. And every time someone gets assaulted, there's always a nigga like. Why was she walking around outside at night? You know how it is outside. 
Yeah, I'm like, bro. It's like that because of niggas. Yeah, bro. She can walk, yeah, niggas. word. She can walk this way. She can walk in broad day. Bro, let me get snatched up, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, it don't matter how you freak the circumstances, bro. It's happening in every circumstance you can imagine. Every single one. Oh, oh, she had a hoodie on? Yep, that one too. Oh, she had the sports bra on? Yep, that one too. Broad day? That one too. She had a oh, suit she, on? That one too. Oh, she had a weapon on her? That one too. Oh, she was with her man? That one too. She was like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, dog, at that point, it's so many. Like, bro, it, it, it's it's one for everything. It's Aaron one for stories everything. stories about uh, people, niggas trying to assault women on public transit, and then a the man steps in, and then the nigga gets stabbed or shot. Yeah, gets shot and killed to... or something. Yeah. yeah and that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Are, yeah, I tell people straight violence. like this. If I'm, like, if I ever, and I've always said this to myself, I never really told him, but I'm like, if I'm in a scenario where, I feel like I gotta intervene and help a woman. I'm knocking the other nigga out clean cold. We not about to have no discussion. Yeah, hey, you going straight to sleep or you hey, dying? No. Like, hey bro, what you doing? Leave her alone. Ain't yeah, it's enough. it's I'm sneaking you and I'm putting you because you're not about to reach for shit. You're not about to get me out of nah 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 nah. As I don't soon know what's going. As I hear yeah. a female voice raise and a help, you're out. You the aggressor is out. And that's my thing, because I know there's certain scenarios where I feel like maybe I wouldn't even get involved. But I know once I decide to, I'm sleeping you. It ain't no other option, because I understand how this can go for me. I ain't worried about her at that point. It's about it's bad, me. They shoot me. Yeah, no, no, no. Be my ass, but... yeah, not to mention, I already know what I'm getting in between. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, if this is your... Not, it don't even got to be this your girl. This is obviously a deranged individual. If yeah, you're nah, on a you train got... with other people and you still decide to attack this woman... Right, and you, you might know, not you even know her? Nah, her. bro. I got to bang your head against the glass. Got to do it. Yeah, you got, got to do it. it got to do it. So, nah. No, nah, that's so that that's my that's my advice. Fellas, raise y'all kids right. Be more active in your children's lives. Make sure they don't do that bullshit at them schools where they just letting them kids do whatever they want. And worst case scenario, if that ain't enough, and on the back end you got to deal with it, dirt nap these niggas, man. Okay. That's the only way. Dirt nap these niggas. Don't even think about it. And just stop asking. You're not, about to stop. Be a hash- You're not about to be a hero. You're not about to be a hashtag on Twitter. Yeah, not about to be. He died trying to defend. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a. Sleep. Yeah, nah, ain't nah, ain't no. I died trying. Nah, go to sleep, nigga. Go to sleep. And I ain't calling nobody neither. I'm gonna put you to sleep then go home. Yeah, you're just gonna be on the train. You're gonna wake up three hours later. <laughs> Everybody gone. <laughs> All right, I should show you on the bus. And nigga, wake up. This shit just black. <laughs> he had the depot and shit. <laughs> the bus driver ain't even wake the nigga up. He just he there. He just got off. Nigga, the depot. Damn, what? Damn, where the hell I'm at? Where the hell is Tenafly? I mean, that's why I carry a knife on me. I'm six three, three hundred twenty pounds. So it's rare that the niggas gonna fuck with me, but. In case a nigga do fuck with me, yeah. I have a weapon. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I'm like, bro, listen, like, once they get to that level, and I always tell people, I fight for survival. So I don't, we can talk about yeah, tactics all you want. Game. I'm finna win. I'm finna that, win by any means necessary, dog. The only I, reason I, I have my knife is in case a nigga has a weapon. If a nigga mm, wanna fight, I'll fight. Mm, I only got my knife in case a nigga pull out a knife himself. No, nah, if a nigga wanna fight, I'm pulling the knife out immediately. I don't want to fight the end. I don't want you to fight me. That's because you don't like fighting. I like fighting. I guess so. But I'm just like, look, I just, it's like if I got the strap, like, if I, but obviously, like, I know if, you know, once you pull out, you, you may have to use that bitch. But that ain't my man. No, I was taught ever since I was a kid, you pull out a gun, you better be ready to use it. I feel like that's bad advice because then you're just going to air niggas without saying nothing. <laughs> Niggas like, yo, chill out. If you're not Man. ready to use it, then there's a chance. No, no, I didn't say that. I didn't use say use that. It. I didn't say I wasn't ready to use it. I'm saying that. I'm pulling it out. I'm like, all right, look, bro. I don't even want no smoke. But, like, and if I feel it, step forward, we, whatever, then, yeah, you getting it. I, like I ain't afraid to use it. I don't want no smoke, then a nigga's going to give you smoke because he going to feel like you weak. Okay. So don't say that. Just No, I'm going to say it. it. It's reverse psychology. <laughs> I wanted smoke, actually. <laughs> Got him. Dumbass. Got him. You're in the jail. There's no standard ground laws in New Jersey. Nah, eh, it's discretionary. Is it? Y'all got it like that over there? So we don't have standard ground laws, but um, self defense is discretionary in New Jersey. Like people will in, sit up here and, and in pretend most like states, they consider an elevated force against the law. So like, if a nigga's trying to fist fight you and you pull out a knife and stab him, that's an elevated force. You go to jail. 
If a nigga pulls yeah. a knife on you, you pull out a gun mm-hmm. and shoot him, that's the elevating force. Right. You go to jail. So I'm, I'm imagining we have the same thing, but what I'm saying is it's discretionary in the sense that you get the right judge, nigga, he don't care. He'll just look at the facts and say, oh, okay, a deranged, wild-ass nigga with a wild history was beating up a woman, you involved, intervened, you told him to chill out, pull out your gun, he rushed you and you shot him. Case closed. Right? Like, so I get what you're saying in the yeah. sense that, yeah, if they want to screw you, they can screw you. But in a lot of those cases, niggas will dead just look at the facts and be like, well, all right, that seems pretty cut and dry. And get the fuck on out of there. You black, they might still try to screw you. even with yeah, the They might, but that nigga gone. You did your job. Yeah, I did my, that was what I, that's, you're not that was what it was. Oh, yeah, that, most importantly. You said, uh, uh, hello, the Cam Newton voice. Uh, what else we got on this thing? What else we got on this agenda? Um, we got face. We got the the outages of the social medias. Uh, I don't even know if you want to get into that too much. Um, I don't really care. What's to really talk about? Just shit went offline. Niggas was making jokes. Yeah, I think the I only thing, the only real salient point that uh, I actually was able to extract from that was just like it. This is what happens when you have monopolies, right? Everything goes down at once because it's all owned yeah, by the same Instagram, person. Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it all goes down at once because one person owns it or one organization owns it. And so yeah. that's, I think, going forward, that's probably the scary part because what happens if something like Amazon Cloud Services goes down? How much shit is under Amazon Cloud Services? I would argue, like, most cloud shit. Like, I, it's... It, the Most iCloud of the from Apple? No, 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 no. I meant like in terms of like servers, like websites, uh, businesses, uh, all this other shit. Like that's the one I'm talking about. Like so many people utilize some of these sources because again, some of them have been damn know, near monopolized, you right? Know. So it's one of those things where like if 30% of Americans use so-and-so, what happens when this company goes out and 30% of businesses are now out because you're out? You yeah, know what I'm that, saying? That reminds me how everything is fucking monopolized. That reminds me of this time where um, I ordered something from a, from a company called Wayfair. Mm-hmm. And I got the shipment from them and it was like missing parts so I couldn't put it together. And I was mad and angry and I emailed them and they said they weren't, they basically said they weren't going to do anything. So I said, all right, fuck y'all, I'm boycotting y'all. I'm never using y'all again. And I went to another random ass website for furniture that I've never heard of before. And I went to go order from them. And in the confirmation email that I got from them, it said, thank you for ordering from us. And it had the company's name and it said, brought to you by Wayfair. (laughs) You literally can't escape shit. Everything is owned by one company. Yeah, and some of these, and that's the thing. Like in some of these cases, you genuinely can't get out the way. Like Like when you say boycott Amazon, you might as well just not spend money for a whole day. Yeah, there's nothing that you can escape. From. That's the one that's thing not... where I'm just like, look, I ain't gonna hold you. I feel like that nigga Jeff won already. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't think we can stop him, y'all. Like, he's whatever he decide, he finna already. do. He got whatever it. He's, yeah, if he decide he finna just start acting up, we just gotta hold it down. Yeah, I'm like, that nigga died in space. <laughs> What's that shit? The video astronaut. <laughs> that shit is so fucking funny. That shit is funny as hell. <laughs> that nigga was just high as fuck off of adrenaline from going into space, but off the that nigga beans. was coked out. Astronaut. How you feeling? How you feeling, Jeff? Astronaut. He just, he's just staring with the most fucking crazy expression I've ever seen about astronaut. That nigga staring. He was staring like he was off the beans. That nigga brain was so overpowered with adrenaline, he couldn't even speak. <laughs> I mean, Man, I y'all ain't even seen what I just seen, nigga. Astronaut, you hear me? I mean, if I went to space and came back and survived re-entry, I would probably look the same way. Don't talk to me for at least two hours. I need to process going to space and coming back alive. So yeah, y'all niggas couldn't fathom the shit I went through today. Astronaut. <laughs> All right. Well, is there anything else on the uh, good old agenda? Um, I guess we got uh the sore yeah. reveal. Um, I don't really feel like talking about that to be honest with you. I don't even play Smash Bros. Play Smash Bros, but I'm not really a fan of 
uh, Kingdom Hearts. I just never got into it. I, I think I'm somebody not let me borrow Kingdom Hearts 2 when I was in like middle school. And I didn't even beat it. And I just, I just never got into it. So I don't really care that Sora's in Smash. I was hoping for either Doom Guy or Goku for the last character. So I'm disappointed. Things are fucking weird. <laughs> what for one in Doom Guy or Goku in Smash? That's weird. Goku is dope. Doom Guy. Yo. Doom <laughs> Get hilarious, yeah. Sin would be fucking amazing if Doom Guy was in Smash. Now I see one for Shrek, and I was like, all right, now, 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 niggas going hard. I ain't gonna hold you, Shrek. Because Shrek. Shrek apparently had a fighting game already. So, like, you could take the moveset from that fighting game to a degree, and I was just like, oh, Shrek. Why did you just activate something in my brain that I haven't thought of in almost two decades? What was it, that Shrek fighting game? Yeah, I remember a Shrek fighting game when I was Shrek a kid. Down, beat down on PlayStation shit. Two. I remember. Yeah. What the fuck? That was that a was real it. thing. Yeah, that was it, baby. God. Well, if we're not gonna talk about Smash, we might as well talk about the big dog, the Smash Killer. You already Smash. know what's going on. <laughs> Nickelodeon's All Star Toonster video game brawl tunes. Cat dog, Danny Phantom game. I mean, all right. So first off, right, um, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't even gonna get into like the game itself, cause like, I mean, it's a Smash clone. Yeah, it's it's a Smash clone, and some of it looks cool. Yeah. So for me, I was just like, I was just gonna think of DLC. That's all I gave a shit about. So with DLC in mind, I think they gotta hit up Fairly Odd Parents at some point. Imagine if they had Timmy and yeah, yeah and I don't know. Wanda just, and Yo, just, it's, it's, our wishes. What's old boy name? Um, the big nigga, the big fairy. Working on Strangle or some shit. Hello. That's his name, Jorgen von Str- Jorgen something. I'm about to, I'm about to look it up. I know I'm right. I don't know if it was. <laughs> Bro, his name is Jorgen Von something. At least some wild shit like that, I, I guess. Okay, yeah. I got Jorgen Von Strangle, that's his name. Is that really? That's his name, Jorgen <laughs> Von Strangle. All right, pull, so up, we... pull up your phone and Google it right now. Yo. Okay, yeah, Jorgen Von Strangle, yeah, I see it. Okay, so between, know, right? between him, the Crimson Chin, and... The Crimson Chin! That nigga gotta be DLC. The yeah, him and the Crimson. To me, those are the two best. Like, you could put Timmy in there. You could put Cosmo. You could put Wanda, obviously, duh. I think but, Timmy would be cool for the versatility of his moves. If you got Cosmo, Timmy has to be. Don't put Cosmo and Wanda in the game. Put Timmy in there with Cosmo and Wanda fulfilling wishes for him. And every move is a wish from one of them. Okay. Or even if you don't do wishes, he can make. Like, Cosmo and Wanda can take the forms of weapons. Like, have, like, Cosmo be boxing gloves and Wanda's be like boots to stop mm, it. Okay. It's a lot of versatility okay. in a character like that. Yeah, that is true. What else? What else? So, um, I was thinking. As told by Ginger. That's a good choice. That was my was first crying. choice. Yeah. No, I get it. You said, uh, yeah, fanboy and chum chum. So glad you said it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't kill. Yeah, all grown up Rugrats. I'm so glad you said it. It's funny because I saw Reptile. I was like, "Yeah, that's the only pair. That's the only character you can get from Rugrats. That's fair." Yeah, but you want to be yeah. on Mr. I, What I don't understand is why they put Helga in the game from Hey Arnold instead of you know Arnold, Gerald. And we get Helga instead of Arnold. I don't. From a show called Hey Arnold, we get Helga. I yeah. Know. I mean, from a fighting game perspective, I kind of understand Helga based on her personality, but like, but yeah, but from a show point of view, like, yeah, oh, yeah, no, it's still not doing it for me. Just give us Arnold. Um, obviously yeah. they got three three SpongeBob characters already, and a million fucking Avatar characters, which I'm sure they're gonna do like Avatar DLC out the ass. I bet money. No, it's only three. They got um uh, Aang, Pulse, and. Korra from the second. No, show. but but my thing is they're they're gonna put all the Avatar. Like I wholeheartedly believe they're gonna put like because think about it they they landed Avatar to Smite. That's the franchise. Like oh, yeah. I, they're cool with putting in all their games. 
so they gonna put Zuko. They gonna put fucking I mean, Azula. Would, ooh, Zuko would be. Yeah, they gonna do Azula. They gonna do fucking. Ooh. They gonna do all of them. They gonna do Sokka. They gonna do all of them niggas. I bet money. Um, so that's probably it. Uh, Danny Phantom will have a care a crazy DLC list too. They want go- Ghost and they be funny. Shit, Danny Phantom alone. Shit, they should put Cat Dog in that shit. Cat, you haven't seen the roster, have you? Danny Phantom and Cat Dog are both in the game. Oh, they are. No, I haven't seen the roster. I didn't even yeah. look at. It. I told you, I don't think Cat Dog makes sense. Cat Dog, um, is, Cat Dog moves crazy too. Oh, you can put Keen and Kel. <laughs> They should do Keenan and Kel. I want to see an animated Keenan and Kel beating each other. Oh, you could do um, what's her name? XJ Nine, remember from My Life Is a Teenage Jenny? Robot? Yeah, yeah, yeah Dude, that's that crap. That's way too easy. Way that too would, that would be hard. Um, and then yeah, I mean those are the easy ones, right? Like you can get deeper in the bag, and if you want to find some harder shit, uh, you can get Rudy to Booty in that bitch. That's another good one. Chalk Zone, yeah, that would be crazy. Or maybe yeah, was, not him, maybe one of the other niggas from Chalk Zone, but either way. You know, I was pleased with the lineup, because I was thinking they were going to do, like, a, a mix of the old and the new, because they wanted to draw in the newer generation, Gen Z, and I thought it was going to be, like, a bunch of cartoons that I never That you never heard before. of, yeah, but they did but pretty much all the new, old. It, it is All-Star all, Brawl, though. Yeah, so the best of the best, and the new yeah. shit is whack, so. But yeah, it's pretty much I it's like, well, we can't put true Jackson VP in here, nigga. Like, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I recognize everybody on the roster except for two characters, and even those two characters, they're not from like Gen Z. They're like from they're when older I was shows, in high but they're school, like niche. getting yeah. There's like from when I was like growing out of Nickelodeon. So there's I've like seen they had a what was it Toast Man? Where is he from? I know I remember him. He's from Ren and Stimpy. Oh, okay. Yeah. They got Ren and Stimpy and Toastman. They you got one of the people from Our Real Monsters, right? One of the yeah, Oblina, the black oh, and white Oblina, candy yeah. cane. Yo, Our Real Monsters went so hard. I want the nigga used to hold his eyes. I want that nigga. So when I thought when I picked Oblina, I thought it was gonna be like the Pokemon trainer from uh, Smash, oh, where you could throw out different monsters. Right, yo, yo, so I was disappointed that, when it was just Oblina. That would be so crack. See, that's why we need to be this. If it was the three, characters. like the three main yeah. characters. Yeah, that's what I thought it was gonna be. Like you have the the teacher with the the red shoes and the pointy nose, and he tells the students to go out. You can switch out the students between oh, uh, the red see, nigga, bro. the nigga with the eyes, and Oblina. I'm about to fuck around and watch our real monsters tonight. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. Where? I, see, I don't know. I gotta see where it's on. Might not be nowhere, sadly. Invader Zim used to be on Hulu and they took it off. Dang. Very suspect. Um, it's just on Amazon Prime. Uh, it's on Paramount. Of course, I don't have that. What the fuck? Man, Why I'm about to Paramount get it illegally. Have a service. What else? Uh, they have Rockers, Mar- Rockers, Martin Light. They can put Hef. Hey, Hef. They put Hef in the game. You could put yeah. um yeah. either one of the Angry Beavers in. Oh, the Angry Beavers would be fire. Yeah. Oh, Doug. Doug Quail man. man. Yeah. Oh, Quail yeah. Man actually, man. yeah. Quail Man in there. Don't no, not Doug. Quail Man. <laughs> Quail Man specifically. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy Neutron not in that bitch, is he? Nah. Which, they could put Ultra Man in there. Or Sheen. Who the fuck is Ultra Man? Isn't Ultraman the fucking the doll that Sheen always carried around? Oh yeah, I'm looking at him now. <laughs> what the fuck? I forgot all Ultra Lord. There we go. Ultra Lord, yeah. I mean, that wouldn't even be a bad idea, right? Or you could put Goddard the dog in. Or put Jimmy Neutron riding Goddard and he like transforms into a bunch of different shit. Yeah. See, we got all the ideas. These niggas just they don't want to pay black talent. That's what it is. Truthfully. It's not the fact that we have no way to get in contact with these people and give them ideas. It's the fact that it's the black talent they don't it's want racism. to racism. It's always yeah, it's they need racism. to put uh, all of the fairies from Winx Club in there. But separately though. Winx Club <laughs> isn't even Nickelodeon, is I thought that was Disney. Um, I think it's technically Nick wait, let me see. Uh co produced by Doo Doo and Nickelodeon, yeah. Why was it on Disney Channel if it's produced by Nickelodeon? 
It was oh all real spies. Put the all real spies. Oh, in the it. totally spy. Yeah, yeah. The all real spies. Totally. I, said, <laughs> I was thinking yeah. about all real monsters. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ah, real spies. <laughs> nah, to- yeah, 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 nah, for sure. I, man, Totally Spies is one of my favorite shows from like that era. Um, yeah, I used to love that shit. Nigga, I, I wish I every single I, one of them, but especially oh, sure. the black one. I forgot what is the Alex? I think. Yeah, no, you remember her name? Yeah, you know. Man, I don't Alex remember Clover and, and. I didn't remember hmm. the other names. I only remember Alex. Sam, Sam, there we go. Sam, Sam. Sam, yeah, I was got you a hot dog, them. buddy. All right. Well, ladies, gents, I real oh. monsters. Uh, Dinosaurs that haven't gone extinct. Cat dogs. Miscellaneous Ten gargoyles. Sentient piles of pebbles. <laughs> uh, yo, that was the other thing. I was looking into... Um, Tekken lore over the weekend, and boy, that shit is foolish. Oh yeah, absolutely yeah. fucking foolish. Like, <laughs> I love it. It's amazing. I do love like reading lore for games of like, especially when it's like, nigga, I never paid any attention to the story in Tekken. I, I ever at any How point. Could you? It's a when you were a kid. What story did you pay attention to? I wasn't paying attention to the lore from Spiral the Dragon. I tried with Metal Gear, but. You can understand why yeah. I failed. <laughs> yeah, I can, yeah. Especially as really like a, a 12 year old. Yeah, yeah, as like an 11 year old. Which is like, oh, okay. So that's Solid Snake and this is Solid Us. And that's dad. Big Boss. And, and Big Boss is, is the mom. And so in the next and game. This is Liquid I'm... Snake. Mm, okay. So in and the next you... game, I'm playing Solid This? Or... No, 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 no. No, you only play him in the past. And then you play as Raiden. <laughs> Who okay. is Raiden, you ask? All right. Well, All right. I'm butt naked. Have to okay. Fight the president of the United States? Yeah, right? He <laughs> said, All right, man. Look, 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 look. Y'all just point me and tell me where to go, man. And, I, <laughs> and I'm finna get it done. Like, listen, I'll fight. Where y'all tell me to fight? But don't talk no more or my he brain. Said, no, no, no. Collapse. Listen, listen. We're going to have a flashback that explains. No, 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 no. No, listen, just point me in the direction of the nigga that I got to fuck up, and I'm going to get it done. Don't That's even tell I'm... me which snake I am. I don't care. I'm that nigga. <laughs> he said, I don't even t- I don't care. He said, no, no, no. So in this game, you play the son of two grandfathers, nephews. Like, bro, bro, stop, stop, stop. You're just saying bro, things. is this a JoJo plot? <laughs> You're just saying things. <laughs> so in Snake Eater, you have to fight an old man. Who, if you don't even fight and wait long enough, he'll die of old age. <laughs> but, but why would I do that? Though? Hey, it's, you know, it's just an option. It's I'm just, just yeah. If you don't want to fight, you can just wait until you die. He said, "I mean, look, look, man. At the end of the day, you don't really have to trip over it. All right, just know that Lyndon B. Johnson's involved, and it's a long story. <laughs> it's a long story. I dedicated. This is like two or three years ago. I just sat down and dedicated." An entire weekend to trying to understand the lore for Metal Gear Solid. Like it's I rough. watched a it's whole rough. two and a half hour video, and I still didn't understand. So I watched multiple other videos over the course of the weekend. Like I literally spent a whole weekend trying to understand the lore, and I think I eventually got it. But that was like three or four years ago, and years of drug abuse and alcohol have destroyed my understanding of the game. So I'm back to square one again. Oh, I yeah. do know that part five is the the first game chronologically. That's the only thing I remember. Is it? They put it before three? Yeah, no, part five is the very first game. The uh, Oh, five is when you play as um old oh boy. You play as the nigga that's not he's the face. It's not you solid. Think yeah, you're yeah, yeah. yeah, you think you're snake, yeah, but you okay, really just yeah, got surgery right, and your right, voice right. changed. Yeah, so that's the very first and then that nigga is the nigga that goes on to the first Metal Gear game. Yeah, Naked Snake. Sorry, Naked that was Snake. It. Yeah, yeah. Or Big Boss, who was also who Naked knows? Snake. <laughs> who fucking knows? Who knows? He said, "Oh fucking no, you might be right." Yeah, no, I remember it's a the snake. I remember it's playing snake. four, which is the last game, and boy, did they four try is to the most comprehensible in the series to me. 
which is funny because they tried so hard to make it all Connected make sense to everything else, yeah. with a lot of different flashbacks and this and that. And I was like, dog, I'm not going to hold you. I don't know what the fuck we doing out here shooting sexy women, but I'm finna do it. I think four so. was the most comprehensible to me because I was in high school, so I I wasn't a kid. A 12-year-old, an 8-year-old is not going to comprehend Metal Gear Solid 1 through 3, but 4 on the PS3, I had a brain. I was in high school. I was I following did. it. The problem is it's just too many niggas. Bro, it's, it's, it's so solid easy. snake. It's naked snake. It's liquid, liquid snake. It's snake. solid it's dust snake. snake. It's big it's, boss. It's big boss who's also naked snake. It's like, bro, stop it's it. It's Ocelot. Who's stop. the nigga spinning the guns? Yeah, Ocelot. You're smoking crack. Stop. <laughs> like, come on, bro. It's, you got Automoticon that pissed on itself. It's the Automoticon. <laughs> What's the nigga name? I thought that was the uh, nigga. Otacon? Maybe it's just Otacon, yeah. Yeah, it's just Otacon. <laughs> he pissed on his... That's a hell of an interest to a game, though. Pissing on yourself. It's great. Great character. Yeah. I love it. But yeah, I mean, I and I remember playing even Metal Gear. Like, Metal Gear Solid. Because I, I don't ever think I played, like, Metal Gear. Metal Gear. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, both people played Metal Gear. Nobody played Metal Gear. Yeah, word. I'm like, bro, Super Nintendo... Like, I had a Super Nintendo. I didn't have no fucking Metal Gear for it, dog. Come on, now. What type of nigga I look like? Sneaking with pixels. What type of shit y'all on? I played the second game where you had to switch out your memory stick for uh, the Psycho Mantis. Oh game. yeah, 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 Metal Gear. Yeah, that, that one was that one was hot. That one. Was, I think Metal Gear is it's an amazing video game series. Um, That's why Hideo Kojima is a a legend, a certified yeah. crazy person. But yeah, it, I mean it's an incredible series. Like I think that like obviously in terms of like the ability to follow the plot, like I mean, boy, good luck, but. It's just Gideon to me, Kojima I think is a crazy person. Only a crazy person can come up with a story like this. No, no, literally, literally, because it's just like, dog, bro. And I'm looking at the shit now. Like for a lot of these games, he's the director, the producer, the designer. Like he, he did, he did everything besides game. the music, nigga. Like, yeah, this is his game. This is his masterpiece, his creation. Nigga walked in while they was playing the drums and shit, and was like, mm, "Hold up, no, 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 I should need a little more kick." I need a little more kick, bro. Because this is for the scene when he found out his dad is not really his dad, but he's a spy who took the place of his dad who died yeah, he's or was killed by his dad. He didn't get told that he was a clone. But no one told him it was a clone, right? And you know why no one told him he was a clone? Because the person who was supposed to tell him was actually a clone himself, and he was killed by the original clone maker. I'm, I'm just making this up. but And the- now he's getting rapid age disease because, you know, clones <laughs> have degenerative cells. Mm-hmm. And he spent too much time so- on that beach from the M. Night Shyamalan movie. So now yeah. he's just speeding so up like really quickly. It's old man snake fighting young snake. But the old man snake is actually the clone. He's not the real snake. He said Bro. young snake's actually the real one. They took the DNA from the actual snake, put it into a tank incubated it and made a new snake so he's not the original snake but he's also not a clone he's the he's son the technically snake, but not original. <laughs> just yeah. like bro bro i'm going to spit in your direction bro, i'm gonna do, do it fight the president just... <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> fun fact the president in that game says he wants to make america great again i bet he does. well yeah that was the old uh uh, like an old slogan, so it's not like, yeah, no, was it? I didn't know that. I thought that was like a Trump thing. No, I think, I think, I think Reagan, Reagan was saying that shit too. Why, this nigga Trump can't do nothing original, bro. He's a thief, of course Even not. Even though he's a piece of shit, I was still gonna give him the making. But you thought he was creative? No, he's a thief. Come I on, didn't think now. He was a creative. I thought somebody made it for him, but I was attributing that to his campaign. Oh, uh, no, nah, someone stole it for him. Oh my god! Come Somebody on, probably stole it, presented it to him. He said, "Yo, this is dope. We gonna kill the game with this one." Nigga, look at this man. Got him. Yeah. Yo, Trump. Him. I know you listening, bro. You whack as shit. Man. He you know can't he listening. Thing, bro. Yo, hey, yo, 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 Trump. Yo, give me your th- give me your Nintendo DS, nigga, right now. Are you talking to Barry Trump? Nah, I'm talking to I'm talking to him. No, I'm talking. Donald. I'm talking to the big Trump, nigga. Yo, let me get Donald. you. Let me get Donald. your DS, nigga. No, 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 not that old one. Not that old one. Your 3DS, nigga. Stop playing. Yeah, nah, yeah, stop playing. Let me get that. I mean, technically, the 3DS is old too. They haven't come out with a handheld console. Since and I want all of them. Matter of fact, let me get your Vita too, since you want to talk stupid. Give me your Vita too. Either, not the Vita. 
<laughs> he said, not DeVita. Come on. Come on. All right, look, take the PSP and let me keep DeVita. Nope. Mm-mm. Oh, matter of fact, you shouldn't even bought that up. I want both of those too. I wish PlayStation would try to hand it a, a handheld console again because the PlayStation. I don't know about the Vita. I never got one, but I heard it was. Yeah, the PSP went but hard. The PSP was hard. Yeah, the PSP, the PSP did go hard. Like it absolutely went. I do wish that they would try that again. Um, yeah, Maybe I wouldn't even say they fucked it up. It just, failed. it just kind of seemed like they didn't support it enough. Are you talking about the PSP or the Vita? The PSP, the Vita was. Yeah. I don't even know a single person in real life that got a Vita. I yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what happened to it or what was wrong with it. I just know it didn't yeah. work. <laughs> I, I have no idea why it failed. I I can't tell you. Yeah. Rest in peace to the Vita, though. Uh, all right. Well, I ain't got nothing left. So uh, before we get out of here, uh, let's see, let's see. Rest in peace, Maya Marcano. Uh, Got not much else. Yeah, I don't. Oh, neither. I just I hope my fancy team is okay this week. Uh, oh yeah, I ain't even gonna consider. It. I'm burnt. I just assume I'm burnt at this point. Last week, my team dropped a collective ninety four. Tom Brady gave me eleven points. Yeah, I can see that. I did bet on him to score two touchdowns. He had none. So yeah. So. And I was thinking like two touchdowns to in a return game. game. Like I think this nigga good. Tom is so disrespectful. He gonna win the game <laughs> against the Patriots and not even score himself. What kind of <laughs> sick man is this? He said, "I ain't even gonna throw one. I just want my niggas to get their shit off." I ain't just telling you that my team better. We go in his defense. AB me. did drop a touchdown, like in the end zone. True, that would have given one. So that would have been one, but yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we didn't talk about the NFL, but I don't really give a shit. So, all right, well, um, we ain't got nothing else left. Uh, hope y'all enjoy what you heard. Somebody let Joe Biden know them student loans are not gonna forgive themselves. I forgive them. I've already forgiven myself. Don't worry about it, Kyle. I mean, you what's the it. worst that'll happen? It fucks your credit up. Credit not real anyway. It literally isn't real. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, they shit. got him. That's what nah. happened when you say credit not real. They got him. A moth landed on me. Mothman right. confirmed. Uh, Mothman confirmed. I was molded by it. All right. Um, let me get the hell on out of here. Appreciate y'all for listening. We finna get on out of here. Peace.